Pouring rain On oh, the that train There she comes Won't you get on What's going on guys we are running over to the courthouse real fast i just got back in town after a long trip ladies and gentlemen and while i'm over here to the courthouse i got told there's big news coming today apparently about some kind of development land i hope it's not what they mean i don't know it, it's supposed to be very important to know and we're supposed to be getting some valuable information but ladies and gentlemen if y'all like this type of stuff please do me a favor leave a like subscribe if y'all like what we're going to be doing with the channel going a little bit forward out leave a like subscribe do what y'all do best but also ladies and gentlemen i want to give a huge shout out to dj go ham for letting me spend some time with him as you learn a lot from the guy if y'all haven't or y'all don't know who that is go check him out links all in the description below thank you dj for the wonderful time so boys y'all know what we're all doing up here for uh two for one at wendy's uh, that's what i'm thinking how are y'all farmers yet y'all don't know what the city's trying to do listen i just got back from vacation what do you want from me you think i pay attention to the city i would if i was you because apparently big people are coming and they want to take all of our farms and make this place bigger so hold on hold on you they're wanting to take all of our land and turned it into subdivisions that sounds like we can make money off of that yeah, how much they paying yeah so y'all want to know how much we're going to get out of this yeah mm -hmm. yeah three grand an acre three grand i can make nine grand right now i sold a farmer yeah that's all we're getting we need to make more money so that there's more tax revenue coming in yep oh goody taxes i mean can we just go the old faster round of petitions like three grand an acre though no sadly not three grand an acre we can't even pick up and move our farm someplace else hold on, hold on. three grand an acre don't even pay for one of the buildings on my, my farm either we all can work together help each other's farms out so we can get more revenue in hold on hold on you tell me i gotta work with these dodge and i gotta work with these ford people i'm about to say i gotta work with all these chevy people i mean i already have him hired as an employee i don't want to do anything more i mean Man. it could be worse it could be a prius driver true exactly. or it could be whoever drives this right here this yeah, what is, is this? the absolute worst i've never seen a farmer drive a pontiac before well unless it's like a gas saver you know what i mean like yeah 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 this looks like a city boy car pretty much is that's all this is a city boy car are y'all in or y'all not what do we have to do just make more money pretty much i've been trying to do that for how long i was about to say do you not think our goal is to make more money oh uh, the actual money that we need to make i have no idea yet the details of that is still being discussed Nate, should we walk in this building, this town hall building, and find out what's going on? Yeah, that might be best bet because we got very unreliable sources. Yeah, let's go. Exactly. Let's go find out. So, Bry was on to something. Thanks for calling us together, Bry. So, the the town needs to raise three million dollars. It sounds to avoid these developers from taking over. They they want us to pay them three million dollars. No, we need to increase revenue for the city, not necessarily like hand them money. For example, when you go buy a new tractor, you're buying it from a local dealership. So that's one of the main things that we got to take out of this is we need to buy local. We need to make sure that we're, you know, putting back in what we're getting out of the local economy so it keeps cycling here instead of like, we're not going to go over to Nebraska or somewhere and buy a tractor because that doesn't help our town. They don't want us outsourcing. Yeah, yeah, because that's hurting the town. All the outsourcing is hurting the town and it's causing it to die and we need to turn that around. Or we get $3,000 an acre and we move somewhere else to farm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Think about this. If we all put our money together, we could buy a really nice farm. Yeah, I don't like that. He just wants us to work for him. Think about how fast we'd be done with work. You mean? No. you would be done with work no we need to save our actual farms i will say that but so basically in two years it's either we save them or we don't like we'll still get the three thousand if we fail exactly yeah so we got two years so where do we go from here we're getting lunch or uh a two for one deal sounds great still party at wendy's yeah, sounds good to me. me i'm not paying not, not it. it not at it chris i got you guys all right Alvin. what's up little boy Hello, looks like your show ain't here yet. I need to jump on up into the heavens and start making the farm. You want to start planning out what we're going to be planting? Yeah, I got you, buddy. All right, you go ahead and start doing that. I'm going to jump up into the heavens and get stuff rolling. Here we go.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, after a long time of building in the heavens, we finally got everything done and finished up. It looks so freaking good around here. So let me pull on in here, kind of just look around for a second. Ladies and gentlemen, just so y'all do know, this is an established farm and the equipment airplane is just off being maintenance. So that will all be coming in due time. Once we get the first establishment of it done, the account will be effective of we only have $50,000 left before the first plane team just so y'all kind of all know what the plan is for the future we are planning to do a first episode like this getting our farm set up by the way go check out everybody links in the description below go check out their points of view everybody's going to have a different point of view every episode it is going to be great not everybody's video is going to be the same so it gives you reasons to go watch everyone not just me not just chris not just happy but everybody so once now we get everybody's farm set up the plan is now to move into spring but before we do that i think i just have a visitor come wanting to come by he wants me to kind of show him around the place it's a beautiful looking farm but yeah what's going on man oh, hey nate what's going on oh nothing much just finally got done with the farm remodeling they finally get approved me for a couple of grants so you know how that is yeah it's looking fantastic that's what i'm saying it looks great around here nothing too big but nothing too small how's your farm doing my farm's doing great it's an apple orchard so uh got about 200 apple trees over there that should make you plenty of money. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of worried about having to make that much money. Yeah, two million dollars in two years, I think. Is Three what million. I okay, yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of more money than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be iffy if we gonna make it. Yeah, it's gonna be tough, but uh, hopefully we can get that done. But I do love how this farm looks. It don't look over trees, but it don't look under. No, it's wide open. You can see the whole thing. You don't have to worry about any branches falling or trees falling on the building. So that's nice. Exactly. You want a quick tour? Oh, let's do it. All right. Well, of course, there's the main house. That's that's where me and my wife and kids will be living. You got the first entrance to the first field there. And behind you would be the main machine shed. Any and all repairs will be done in that shed. Uh, hopefully we don't have to use that shed too much. So this lane right here is where you will you will fill up your, with your seed, your fertilizer, your herbicide. All that stuff will be filled up through this row right here. Your diesel island for your semi trucks and your farm equipment. The green tanks up there, that is my gas tank. So that's for regular and uh, there's one gas tank and one diesel tank up there one roadworthy diesel one other okay so you got the highway diesel and the regular diesel gotcha exactly you, you can't get in trouble though this right here is where all our grain bins and like that will be they're actually a different size grain bin so this side right here was the only side that has all same the m2 back there are two different ones and of course this one right here we, we, we just had to take one part of the old farm how much storage you got here how many like total bushels do you know i have no clue yeah right. but i'll say this if this don't hold it, I'm having the best year of my life. I was going to say, if this can't hold it, you're doing really good. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So this right here is going to be, of course, the pig pen. Oh, very nice. There's no pigs in it yet. We got to go buy more pigs. I sold all the last group of pigs. And then, of course, when you get out of here, you have your water tire right there that is automatically uh, hooked up to it. And then right there, you have your second exit and then your main entrance to that field over there. And then you have our Quonsets and then right back to where we started from. Then you got a lot of cold storage here. Well, we wanted to go amount of cold storage because we don't like equipment sitting out in the front lawn i don't know if you've tried fitting semi trucks in these or not but you can fit about two of them per and especially with us we you know how we have two semi trucks and four trailers yep. plus we gotta fit gravity wagons combine all fun stuff into here how many helpers do you have these days estimated three i think i have one that might be quitting but i think i have like three good ones all right bud well i think i'm gonna go ahead and head on to the house do me a favor get off my land oh wow okay i see how it is all right i'll catch you later what time is it oh it's 5 46 in the morning i think hazard said he's leaving and he won't back for a little bit same thing with yosha who just left my door open i swear i'm gonna mm, me and that boy is gonna have a talk about leaving that door open if he continues to leave that door open this is ridiculous i would get me some weedies real fast but i think we're supposed to be all meeting up but before we do that let me do some click clack on the keys all right there we go so I just finalized the last little bit of an email that required me to order some seed. So hopefully we can go pick up some seed, but that will be ready today. So it looks like I'm going to be the last person planting again. I think the rest of the guys said that they are ready to rock and roll. But on top of that, I think everybody said they wanted to meet up, have some breakfast, by the way. The farm looks amazing. I definitely do love it. Um, we did went ahead and fill out the implement. So we do have a lot of stuff already. If you look at the front here, see like a lot of equipment. Most of this 
stuff is what I call junk equipment. So it's unusable and stuff like that. There's gonna be a lot of that on my farm. I mean, it's actually supposed to mimic an old farm that's been there for years. Gotta pull on out of here. I know the boys said that they had a lot of stuff planned for the day. I'm really excited to see. I think today I'm just gonna go help out somebody else. And it looks like I'm gonna be arriving just in time because six o'clock was when we said we were all meeting. Looks like two people are already here. Gonna make our own parking spot. You do realize this isn't a parking spot, right? But it is a parking spot. I made it in It isn't. You see there's lines here? There's not lines here, so they're Nate, go, Nate, go look in between Happy and my truck and tell me whose fault that is. We're not touching each other, and I'm in my line. Who's this, whose truck? Mine's the GMC. His, his oh, you know what? Ship. We're both to blame here, aren't we? We're, we're, I mean, technically, we're both in the lines. So right? Yeah, my front tire's Ish. touching, your back tire's touch. Yeah, we're both to blame. Yeah. Who invited them? Listen, I, I didn't wake up this early to deal with this, okay? Remember, we yeah. need everyone to pull this off, like, so we're playing nice. Do we have to play nice? I'm still yet to see the other farmer. Everyone calls him the master. I've yet to see that guy yet. Hi. Do we really have to put up with these guys? I can deal with him, but I can't deal with him. That's Bri. Oh. Nate, why are your lights still on? Oh, because I forgot to turn them off. Well, what's up, everybody? What's uh, going hi. on here? We're just getting ready to go in and get some breakfast. We're just waiting for everybody. I love how we said 6 o'clock and it's 6 10 and we're still yet yeah, everybody's not here. Guys, the city guys are here. The city boy? Oh. The city boy's here. <laughs> oh, jeez. I knew you didn't call me a city boy. No, we're talking about some people in that car. Oh, that's, oh. My, that's my business part. Hey, drive. Did you just hit the <laughs> post office? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> that's another repair the city's going to have to make. You're damaging this guy's car. Why are you? Too. This guy right here is the entire reason we owe all this money. No he kidding. Really oh, is. my God. Oh, oh my, my Lord. Can we sign a petition to get him out of, the, out of the city? I guarantee that would lower down how much money we need. That repair on the post office is going to set us back. Ah, oh, I imagine how much that's gonna set us back by i mean if they don't oh, know no. it don't hurt you say what that and they don't know how are you well, gonna oh, oh, now i want you to explain this to me how are they not gonna see the big hole in the wall we all agree if nothing else they're paying for breakfast so let's go get breakfast yep. all right yep, yep let's go get breakfast why don't they serve lobster we'll make it as expensive as we can thank you city boys for paying for the food yeah, you guys actually you. do come in handy anybody else's eggs undercooked extremely the hash browns wasn't any better trust me well you got to get your eggs over easy and mix it together What's plus up? you got lobster as well. Yeah, I was just trying to make it as expensive as I could. So me and Blake have to pay, right? Wait, do y'all not pay? Yeah, I'll pay. No. I was about to say, the bill was $1,000. Do we all just walk out of there without paying? I'm going to this way. <laughs> yep, I'm going towards my truck. So I guess let's talk about what everybody's doing today. So who wants to go first? I like Tappy. You don't, You want to know what I'm doing? Yeah. All right, I got to remo the whole hayfield. Are you going to pick some apples? My wife really wants some of that cider. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll get some apples going. Making some apple cider. I know uh, me and Blake today are going to focus on planting and whatnot. Okay. I, I don't have Yosho or Hazard right now, so it looks like I'm going to have to work with somebody else today. So anybody need help? I got to head to the dealership to pick up a trailer and a bale wrapper. I might need to get a plow, too, unless someone has one I can borrow. I've got, I got, I think it's like a six-row shank that I can take over there and help you out with. Oh, that would be great, yeah. And we got a bale wrapper if you want to borrow it. Yeah, then I guess I just need the trailer. What you should do is stop and get you a plow, so I can come over there and help you out, and then we, you can have one as well. Because you never know when you'll need a plow. Yeah, I'm going to need one long term. That's true. And my plow is just sitting out in the grass section of my farm, and it's not doing anything. I might have to look over it before I take it over there, though. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I'll go to the dealership, get that trailer, swing by Bryce Farm. Sounds good. All righty, so right now I'm taking the scenic route home because we have a lot of work to do today. Before I can even start working, I got to wait for the other boys, and they're supposed to meet up and do some other things before they come see me, so I'm not really too worried. We're just going ahead and knock everything out and getting where i need to be and so right now we are driving past our fields of course we did go ahead and everything cultivated from last year the main things we have to do is an hydrus but it shouldn't be that bad we'll get on out of here well that's not the way inside of our shed so this right here is what we'll most likely pull that other thing with but before we do that i do want to make sure i at least pull some things out so of course we have a john deere 4430 beautiful tractor overall like you can't have a farmer i have one of these we have a 74030 john deere sprayer we have an 8r 620 for like an auger tractor you have the 710 here we have us a nice little kubota here for of course like our little needs all the kubota implements and our steiger 9380 ksih as of right now the 8r and the steiger will be the main workhorse of the farm now we do have a lot of little things aka a sh huge shout out to mafia mods for making all these beautiful mods like he does um and on top of that we do have a two harvesters we went ahead and got ourselves 
ourselves a challenger a cat harvester and we picked ourselves up an s760 john deere harvester as well these are good harvesters that we can use because the fields on this map is humongous but they can be upgraded as time goes on and inside of here we have our grain trucks massively needs an upgrade we have a bison and we have an international here and hopefully the hopes and goals is to upgrade everything on the farm as time goes on i know at least that's my goal we have to pull everything out of here to get to our two planters which i bought these as twins about a few years ago and they have a lot of on them and these need to be replaced next year so i definitely do think the first thing we need to work on getting out would be in fact our john deere tractor so we're just going to back this on out of here put this here get out detach that pin and grab the next implement with that being pulled out i think we'll go ahead and jump on into this right here then use this tractor to pull out the next piece of equipment just so we're able to put everything back as quickly as possible and there we go so we have both planters pulled out ready for me to go over and look at them which i'm gonna do right after i get done pulling out that all right gotta make sure to knock off the there we go that, 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 there. and yes before anybody says that i know this is sacrilegious but we have to get the shanks out so what we're gonna do now is get back up on here unfold and turn her off so hopefully she has some battery left and she will the wings will automatically expand and it will be perfect so now we need to get this unfolded because this has been setting the elements all year so now we have to have real fun hey nate you on the radio yeah what's going on no not a whole lot i'm on my way over there with my tractor to help get that plane around I've already gotten it pulled out, and you don't even need to bring your planter. Just take your truck over here. Oh, all right, cool. I appreciate it. Let me uh, just pop a U-turn real quick, and I'll go grab my truck. And what I'll do is for the map data is I will just send you a copy of the map data. Oh, sweet. I appreciate it. So we're actually looking at a lot of really good, high-quality land this year. This I'm not that excited for, but I think we can make it look pretty good. Um, we've also been looking over this. I haven't seen no issues with it so far. It actually looks really well. I've had to replace like two discs. The rippers they look good these baskets in marketable condition so don't really see a whole lot wrong with it and i think i should be ready to go oh how's it going bud oh not too bad just coming over pick over up at tractor and planer right quick yeah i was getting this all washed off make sure she was good ready to go man that's a ripper and a half that's what i'm saying this thing is gonna put in some work oh yeah you are coming for a tractor so let's get yes. you on that tractor so i got both of these hooked up i went ahead, only have one of them set up with a monitor and it's the case i h that's fine I have her set up for soybeans. Is that okay? Yeah, because um, I was going to do soybeans with this one, and we were going to do corn with our other one. Well, both of these right here are actually set up for soybeans. You will have to do some adjustments in the field. I made sure that all the discs were in order. These are in hydrous tanks, by the way, so it okay. will apply some in hydrous down for you and not a whole lot. I would still recommend putting down actual in hydrous. Here's the key. No, thank you. Thank you. All right. I'll see you later, man. All right. Thank you, sir. You have a good one. All right. You too. Well, he just left with that over there. 20000 out of my pocket i am broke <laughs> there's nothing else to do but we have everything let's over this so she's rocking ready ready to go i guess the best thing to do for right now is just kind of turn the tractor off and uh wait for chris to call me while well, i'm waiting on him to call me there is a fuel filter calling my name so let me uh replace this fuel filter and uh, get this new one on all righty i finally got this over here the oil changed on this so she's ready to rock and roll i think chris said he should be here in a little bit you around nate i'm here where are you at the back room oh okay Okay. Oh, there you are. Your place is looking spiffy. Yeah, I got a lot of work to do. I just got done changing the oil on this over here. Oh, you still got this, huh? Well, I couldn't get rid of that. No, I, I agree. Is this what you're going to come help me with? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to look silly with uh, my puny little plow, but we'll get it done. I was about to say, we should knock it out pretty quickly. Yeah, that's exciting. I'm going to head back. I just wanted to see if you're ready and let you know I'm ready. Got all, all my grass wrapped and I'm, I'm ready to go. All right. Did you go ahead and sign that paperwork and grant me access to your fields? Uh, I will do that on my way home. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up and then I guess I'll be behind you. All right. So I don't know if I told you I got two fields that were grass that I've mowed and created outlines. We're going to turn those into actual fields now. No more grass. So you don't want grass? At least in those areas. I still got some if I eventually need it, but we should be good. Well, hopefully this right here will help you get everything knocked out quicker. Oh, I definitely think it will. It'll be very appreciated, and, but I'll owe you. Ah, uh, yeah. Figured with all your fields, you're probably going to need help during harvest season. I've only got two harvesters. Yeah, but you got enough people to drive the carts. I only got one cart. I guess you don't need my help. I will need your help. Trust me. 
way. Planting and harvest, I'm gonna definitely need a lot of help from everybody. Yeah, you got the most fields and the most land in the county, so yeah, that makes sense. Have we hit your land yet? Yeah, I mean, the field to the left here is mine, um, behind the trees. Oh, no, 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 we haven't. A couple more of these poles and then it's my land. You can see the outline of this field to the right. Ah. That's the smaller one, so it might make sense for me to do that, unless you want, unless we want to just do the same field at the same time. I say it may be best if we just do the same field, just knock them out. All right, let me go get uh, hooked up to the plow and I'll be back. There we go. Oh, this ain't gonna take no time. That's what I like to hear. Things pulling at nine miles an hour. Did you hear though that we are supposed to be getting a new dealership and a new co-op? Well, that should help stimulate the economy too. Yeah, but I think they've already calculated how much effect that's gonna have on the economy. They need to get their stuff in order. Like, why would they add that, but then talk about getting rid of farming? Like, this city's confusing. It really is, but hopefully the co-op will help us be able to generate more money. That's a nice little plow. Yeah, I like it. It fits uh, the farm. I'm a little broke right now, so I bought everything I needed to plant, and I completely spaced the, the whole plowing process. Could be worse. Trust me, it really could be worse. All right, I guess I'll grab this last little bit for you, bud. Thank you so much, and like I said, uh, either harvest season or, you know, when, you're, when your boys get back, I can help do some planting. Well, I might go ahead and grab out and hide your tank if you want to help out with that here in a little bit, or we can go help out Bri. Yeah, let me get gets cleaned up here. I need to get on the phone and get some surveyors out here. Get this uh, soil, the soil type surveyed, because then I need to do some some lime treatment on these new fields, too. Yeah, don't be scared to do anything like that. I know I've got plenty of hydras to put down, which you know what? I may go ahead and visit Happy. See if he'd be willing to help me out with some hydras later. Alright, yeah, I was going to swing by there, too, and talk to him about a proposal I had for some land, so maybe we'll run into each other. Oh, yeah. Well, after I get done with that, I'm probably going to head directly over to go help out Bri and Alex, because because I think it's Alex right now. He's the one borrowing my tractor. I need to make sure he ain't messing it up. Oh, you're you're brave. I know. It's only in case I ate chicken lives. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it's fine then. It'll, it'll handle it. Is that Nate? It looks like it. Yeah, yeah. He was just helping yeah. me plow my new fields. Remember we were talking about that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nate came over and he saved the day. We're already done with that. Oh, wow. I must be blind as a bat. I didn't see y'all when I walked up. Sorry about that. It's okay. okay. What's happening? Oh, I'm coming to talk to Happy about I know he only has this out here. He probably wants to do some actual work. So I got some hydrous work needs to be done. Okay. Uh, when you need that done by? Oh, I was going to go see what was up with uh, Brian and Alex first, which I called them beforehand, and I heard a rumor, Chris, that they're already done with their fields. They're done planting? Yeah, but I think what I heard, they said they left one field only for you. Wow. You know, leaving leaving a field for somebody that doesn't, you know, work for the farm, if it doesn't get planted, it's going to be rough for them. That's what I said. I heard a rumor, too. This one kind of potentially affects all of us. So, you know this field uh, directly next to you, Happy? Yep. I, th I think Ken owns that? Yes, you yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I heard that that Ken was talking with the developers and was going to sell. No way. He's selling? That's what I heard. So I was, I'm tempted to go down to the bank and try to get a loan to buy it. Now, you, you know Ken? Uh, I had a meal with him once or twice. I can't believe he's thinking about doing that. I, and I'm trying to find someone to confirm it. I haven't seen him around, though. He, he is kind of older and he, you know I me, mean? he's trying to get out of the farming game a little bit. I mean, I bought some equipment off him the other day, so I knew he was trying something. I better move fast then. So yeah, I'll try to get a hold of him and let him know that that's my thought. I don't want houses right there, right by my farm. I don't either. There would be a good thing for me, though. There'd be a lot more business over here, but uh, I really don't want a subdivision right next to my house. I was about to say, you do realize that all three of us kind of live right next to each other, and I don't want a subdivision that close. Yeah, I know. I mean, if they put a subdivision that close, I'm just letting y'all know, who needs free fertilizer? Because I will go buy chicken manure and just park it on your fields. All right. I guess that's one way to prevent it. But yeah, so I was thinking <laughs> yeah. about paying, you know, market value instead of this undercutting. What is it, 300 an acre they're trying to give us? 3,000. 3, 3, 3, yeah. yeah, that's not that's not gonna work. If the subdivision does go up, you do pigs, right, Nate? Yeah. So you can put those big fancy pig buildings right next to the subdivision, right? I would have to have permission to do it on your land, and we'd have to. Uh, yeah, I would. Yep, I would give you permission. Yes. But here's the problem: is before they put the subdivision up, we need instantly go hang in the building contracts for those buildings to put up. Because once subdivision is built, they won't let me build those. Right. That's true. Yeah. And I've already got told that one farmer did sell out some land already. If you know where the field i think most people call it field 40. oh yeah yeah i know where that's at i thought that was a little bit far east for the subdivision but uh i guess they're taking everything they're wanting everything what i heard is they're going to try to buy that land 41 also so that they can actually make like a second town right there and if they're getting that close to the current co-op it's only a matter of time before they actually buy the co-op exactly and then we're screwed so yeah then we have nowhere to sell to except the train but you need to keep that in mind i'm gonna head out and get on the phone with my realtor and my lender and see if I can pull this off. Yeah, that'd be great. Guys, I'll see you later. You have a good one. You want you want to do some hydro work? So 
messing with trees. Yeah, I've done enough apples for today. I'd be glad to help you. Um, so the bad part is I haven't got the tanks yet. Right now, you don't have another big tractor, D. I don't have any big tractors now. Shoot. You know anybody that might have an extra one? Uh, Chris has a nice big case tractor we could use. I could go ask him for it. Yeah, you might need to do that because we need at least one more big tractor. And my other big tractor that isn't my John Deere is currently in the field with a oh, planter yeah. on it. And you know how hard it is to get those monitors set up on tractor to tractor. I'd rather not mess those monitors exactly. up when I need them in the next few days. Um, yeah, it's a shame Chris just left. We could have asked him, but uh, I'll run down there, ask him if he, uh, he'll let me borrow the tractor, and uh, I'll head over to your farm. Sounds good to me, bud. All right, I'll see you in a few. See you in a little bit. Alex, y'all on the radio? Yes, sir. What's going on? I'll call and see how planting's going. We're on our second uh, field out of four. How's my planter doing? Yeah, your planter is finished, cleaned up, and back at your facility. I love to hear that. Well, I'm actually just got done myself with doing some cultivation with Chris, and I'm actually about to switch over to doing anhydrous before I start planting corn. Okay. So I was just going to call and see if y'all, make sure y'all boys were doing good, and see if y'all still have plenty of work to do. Yeah, all we got right now is just our fields needing planting for the moment. Actually, we do, uh, I think Alex might need help with loading up some um, silage. Nope. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I got anhydrous to do. Alrighty. I, I didn't say for work for me to do. I was going to give y'all work to do. What are you talking about? Hey, I, I thought you was offering more. I wasn't offering you help. You already owe me as it is for the planter. Well, whenever we get done with what we're doing, and Chris is free, it'll be over here soon, so whenever he takes over, one of us can go and help you out. Well, I know Chris right now, he stopped to go get a loan real fast. He found out that there's a land development going between his property and Happy's property. They were trying to buy it already for the price, and Chris is trying to stop that, so he's buying the property for market value. Oh, no. Well, hopefully he gets it. Uh, I think he's going to get it. He's going to offer $500,000 on that property, where they only offer two hundred. Oh dang, okay. They're most likely going to get more than a fair offer. Sounds like it. Alright boys, so I'm going to go ahead and get back to work. Um, I think I will be over here to help me out anyway. So I'll just check in and make sure y'all boys are doing good. Alrighty, you have a good one. You too, bud. Hey Blake, what y'all up to? Not much, just playing fetch with the dog. Y'all just playing fetch? Well, y'all want to get some, y'all want to do some more work? Sure, we could use the work. We got a $200,000 loan to pay off. Perfect, I've got some fields that need some anhydrous on them, and I need some workers. Alright, you got the uh, hydrous already machines and bought or something like that so what i'll do is i'll pay you back but to start with i'm gonna need you to lease your own machines i have one extra one over here but i think happy's gonna take that one if y'all could go lease two more and i'll just pay you back for anything i owe you yeah we can do that all right sounds good to me well i was just trying to make sure you boys were able to do that because i need to get 26 17 20 and 34 all need to be corn so i need hydrous on all of them all right we will get started on that right away then all right thank you bud yellow hey nate uh uh, I got Chris's tractor. Uh, where am I supposed to go with it? Am I supposed to go to your farm? So actually, <laughs> you need to go to the co-op first or the truck supply, whichever one you want to go to and pick up a tank from. Then head to my farm to pick up the other because I'm actually driving to tractor supply right now to pick up a tank. All right, I'll meet you at tractor supply then. If you don't mind, just pay for it out of your own pocket and I'll pay you back for it. All right, sounds good. All right, so I just got the anhydrous tank itself from up front. Now I'm going to go around back real fast and fill it up and see how much this is going to cost me. Hey, I know that person. Was that you? Yeah. What's up them ugly black rams? It's Chris's tractor, not mine. So you're going to have to talk to him about that. We need to get that man some taste. Oh, for sure. Hey, Nate. Yes? You didn't tell me this anhydrous was going to be so expensive, but it drained my bank account. How much was it? It was $23,000, and now I'm sitting at three grand in my bank account. Huh. You better reimburse me here, bud, and you better be paying me for my work. I'm going to reimburse you. All right, good. I need to talk to my loan officer, but I'll reimburse you. All right, thank you. All right, I got all that pulled out. I'll park this over here and wait for happy. Blake and Drizzy all to get here so we can start doing some hydrous work. While they're doing that, I'm going to look at this right here, see if I can figure out if it's just the transmission wrong with it or can we get it properly running because I bet I know somebody who'd want to buy this. Alright, what do I need to do here? Where's your tanks? There was none over there. You know you can't do nothing without a tank, right? No. Alright, I'm going to be back. <laughs> I do get your tank. <laughs> 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 Well, is there anything we can do while he's getting that hooked up, Nate? I mean, we can go ahead and plan out what we're going to be doing. Yep, that works. So do y'all want to just go ahead and let's knock out 26 together? 26. Oh, that's the big one, isn't it? Yeah, that's the huge one. All right, yeah, we can do that. I'll follow you. All right, boys. Let's get her done. Let's get her done. All right, Nate, I'm going to turn here and uh, let you finish that little section. Yep, I'll do this little section right here, bud. Shouldn't be too bad. I think we should be able to knock this out pretty quickly. Yeah, these toolbars are massive, so yeah, it won't take very long. No, especially 
it with four people working on it. My only thing is I'm going to be worried about how much we're putting down. Exactly. Because we are putting down a large amount. We're putting down roughly 145 kilograms per hectare. All right. Of course, I don't know what any of that means because it's not U.S. Uh, measurement, but that sounds like a lot. Yeah, that's what I'm going off of. Oh, he does know how to get tanked. Did you fill it up? Yeah, buddy. Congratulations. You know how to fill it up. Took me a little while. Yeah, no. Actually, with all of us working on this, we shouldn't need a refill. I don't think so. You were the on the shouldn't. I think I'm on, yep, I'm on the last pass here. Are we playing chicken here, or what are we doing? I mean, I woke to the world's biggest game of chicken, boys. I ain't turning. I'll turn, I'll turn. I'm not gonna turn fast enough, though. I'm about to say, you're also in Chris's tractor. Yeah, that's true. But no, we actually knocked this out pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, we did. I'm really surprised, actually. Yeah, that went quick with four people. Yeah, well, do y'all wanna jump over, the people who aren't doing anything right now, do y'all wanna jump over to 34, knock that out, and me and Blake jump over to 17? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, I'll go to 34. All right, we'll, we'll just break up and kind of do that. That works. Blake, you know where 17 is, right? Yeah, I know where it is. Right down this road. All right, just making sure. Do you want me to go before you? Yeah, you can go before. Make sure you turn your hazards on. Already on. Actually, I do gotta turn mine on because I gotta go on the highway. You guys still use those? Yes. I mean, it would be smart if you used them. But I say, you gotta go on concrete roads, so I would recommend it. You are hauling in hydrates, right? You know that's extremely flammable. If, if a car even touches the tank, you're exploding. Have fun with that. Yeah, I'm totally got my hazards on for uh, 20 feet. Alrighty, so I got that field knocked out. Now I'm gonna go over here and help out Blake, and we should be done. I'm not planting a whole lot of corn because of the fact 26 is corn so i still got 77 percent left in my tank boys how much y'all got left in y'all's 80 83 69 so we'll still have a good amount left in the tank that means it should only cost me about forty thousand dollars in total in anhydrous so not that bad that's not terrible hey nate you on the radio yep all right we just finished that field and i'm pulling into your farm now is there anything else you want me to do or are we done we're pretty much done wait for me to get there before you leave though because i just got done from down here i don't have a whole lot more to do uh for anhydrous work i do need to get you paid for all the money you spent do you want to keep that well something in hydrous tank and we break even on that and i only pay you for what you use or do you want me to keep that you can keep it i have no use for it all right sounds good i'll call the renter's place and let them know about me keeping the tank as well or actually you know what go sell that back to the company all right because i have no use for it this year and i'm gonna just keep my tank and then what how much do you think that should i spent twenty three thousand on it so it's over 50 percent it's probably 75 percent left in it still i don't know you can do the math so i'm gonna give you this check right here uh actually you know what uh so go ahead bud and send my bank an invoice for nine thousand and can y'all send it. me an invoice for twenty thousand yep we can do that i should cover y'all up pretty well all righty i'll get that done and uh i'll take this back to the co-op and uh sell it back later. and get all that stuff yep all right don't forget to take chris back his machine appreciate the work you did appreciate so we're just gonna shut this off right here i'm gonna leave that right here what i'm gonna do actually is i'm gonna go see if i can kick up a little extra business by doing some spraying for some guys i know there's some guys that do some spraying that's gonna need some spraying here pretty soon i don't think they own a spray so i'm gonna go see if i can kick up some business i think they live up here in this house right up here i think they, oh, this is their driveway what's up oh same old same old just got done with anhydrous for the year i didn't notice the co-op told me i didn't put no anhydrous down or anything like that what's up with that well i was planning on this year going off of just regular fertilizer which i'm still gonna get through the co-op have y'all uh, already got the sprayer no we have not no y'all looking at uh wanting to rent a sprayer or possibly get it custom sprayed because i got a sprayer that's uh available potentially i mean i do have an old sprayer but i, I still got to fix it up before i can sell it but my current sprayer i don't need it for possibly another three four months i haven't even started planting so i was gonna ask y'all if y'all wanted to borrow it to go ahead and start putting down your fertilization yeah we can do that and then uh just let us know when you're starting to plant and we can bounce over and help you plant. You yep. hungry at all? We uh, just did hamburger or cheeseburgers and hot dogs on the grill back here. Oh, don't you tell me. I've had a long day of work, dude. I've been everywhere helping everyone and doing everything. So a good time right about now. Sounds good to me. All righty, come on. Oh, it looks just delicious, come. boys. We got uh, pickles, ketchup, mayo, mustard, and buns all over here on the table. Oh, I'm looking at some good buns. Hey, now. Now we just need the cold brewskis and then we'll be looking good. We got them right inside the refrigerator there. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to hear. Look at me. What time is it? I'm not late for breakfast, am I? Ain't no way I've already missed breakfast. Them boys must. Oh.
How's it going, man? Going good. How about you? Oh, another day in paradise. How about you? Uh, busy, busy, busy. Been working. How's your vacation been? It was actually pretty nice. I thoroughly enjoyed it. There's some nice digs out here, man. Oh, yeah. Looks a lot better than the day before you left. Yeah, it seems that you've expanded it quite a bit already. Oh, yeah. Remember we had those government loans or something like that. Oh, do I have something to catch you up with? How do you always find yourself in these situations? I'm not in debt. Hold up. I'm not in debt. What do you want from it me? It sure sounds like debt. I'm not in debt. It's the entire community together because the alternative is if we don't make the money, they're just going to give us $3,000 per acre. So they want to turn this into nothing but home projects out here and get rid of all the agriculture out of this town. Oh, boy. That's what I said. So we got a lot of stuff to do. As always. You actually came in enough time. It's time for us to go hang and go get breakfast. Sounds like a plan. What we have it. McDonald's. Okay. We got to go ahead and head on over there. I'm going to let you drive your truck. I'm going to drive mine. All right. We got to make it over there before all the other farmers eat all the food. Now, how many people we got in the co-op now? So if what I've seen and saw, there's about five farms in total, I believe. So we have about five farms. By the way, when you come up here to Wendy's, just turn left, okay? Okay, got you. And when you get to the Applebee's, turn left again. You're going across the river. Got it. Well, oh, it looks Nate. like Nate finally decided to show up. I don't want to hear it. I had to stop and get something, okay? Uh, hey, of course you did. Hey, hey, Nate, we got a problem. What? McDonald's here is still under construction. and They're not done yet. Yeah, why'd you choose McDonald's? drive through still working. What drive through What drive through still working? <laughs> I don't see a drive through The only thing here is this Pepsi and Coke machine. All right, grab you a Pepsi and Coke. All right. All right you got money for me? Pepsi, let's go to the case. I'm going to the sandwich place that's right down the road. Yeah, I'm heading over to Patterson's real quick. I guess I'm just going to follow everybody else. Hey, yo, show me letting you know you hit something. Yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks for hitting my truck there. You're welcome. You backed into me. What? I didn't even move. You backed into what? me. I have, I, have, I have it on Whoa. camera. Oh, man, we drove over here. We could have walked. Hey, why don't we just walk? <laughs> Breakfast on me this morning, y'all. Oh, oh, sweet. No. order the most expensive thing. Got it. All right, thanks, Alex, for the meal. I'm sorry your bill was $1,000, but oh. it is what it is when you, when you offer to pay. Hopefully you can uh, fork out that money not a problem do you think i was in the tanning booth too long just a little bit hey hey you did add that to their bill right uh, so what bill? The the oh yeah yeah no, no i had tanning for breakfast that's what i <laughs> yay sunlight for breakfast nate i need to speak with you before we leave about renting some equipment today uh what what do you need to rent need to uh rent a an hydrous bar and a tractor big enough to pull it preferably not that case ih again please so i it'd have to be the case ih would be the only one. not the case ih you borrowed last time but the case uh, the uh, quad track would be the only one that'd be able to because the KSRS you borrowed and the John Deere is currently going to be my planting tractors for the day. Okay. All right. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, how much do I need to transfer you for that? I'll be for it after you get done, depending on how many hours you put on it. All right. Um, if you need a tank, I do have a tank with an hydrous already in it. It's in my building right now because I didn't think I was going to use it. So if you need a tank, I got one of those also. All right. Sweet. That works out because otherwise I was just going to send Brad a TSC to go grab one real quick. Yeah. Then there's a new co-op that just opened up here recently so i think we can start using that now because i know me and him where yosha went i mean i was about to go over there yeah new help man it, it's hard to keep good help ain't it? it really is all right let me go find yosha we got work to do we need to go to the seed dealer go pick us up some seeds because i want to do some hybrids this year okay so yeah go hook up to our seed tender i'll give blake a call to him to meet us up there at the co-op all right so it's back at the farm right yep all right Hello. Hey, is it the local co-op? Yep, it's the co-op. What can I do for you? I need some different hybrids of seed. All right, we got plenty of seed if you want. Just come on down and we'll load you up. All right. How much is the? How much is it per pallet? It is well, a thousand bucks per pallet. A thousand dollars a unit. Sounds good. All right, we'll be out there soon for it. All right, see you soon. Hello. Hey, Nate. What's going on? So, if you don't see Yosho later, um, it's because he crashed. What did he crash from? He's texting and driving, and he kind of went into the creek, flipped up in the air, but didn't fully flip, landed into our fields, and kind of has a messed up front right now, and missing a few headlights. All right, well, I'll deal with him when he gets up here. I appreciate the word of warning. Yep, if he makes it there, so be safe. And for thank you. All right, Yosho, I think he said pull around back here. No, this is where you're supposed to be loading the seed in at. I did grab the right trailer, right? This is the one you wanted? Yeah, yeah, well, we're only grabbing bags of seed today. We'll dump the bags directly into the other. Uh, I guess while we're waiting, we can look at at least what's available. So we Soybean seeds. We plan on planting some soybeans. They only have one bag of soybean seeds. That's what it looks like. Only one brand. I think they may use the Pioneer as well for soybean seeds. So you only got two soybean seed brands, Pioneer or the other. I think I'm gonna go with the Pioneer. Well, yeah, I think we'll just go with this. You think we go ahead and buy soybean seeds, or what do you think we do? Wait a little bit. I mean, soybeans is a pretty good cash crop. Well, I'm trying to figure out what we're planting today because I don't really want to buy a whole lot of seeds just yet because I need to still talk to the loan officer because I still owe people twenty thousand dollars. Yes, go find the guy and. 
and we'll buy some seed. Sounds good. How's it going? Not too bad. You're looking for some seed. Yep, come buy me some corn seed and get me a little bit of soybean seeds as well. All right. We got many types of seed. Which one do you want? So what I'm thinking for the corn, I want four bags of each of the corn, and then I will take five bags of your soybeans. All right. And then we won't do Pioneer right now, and we'll see how far this gets us, and if we need more, we'll come back up here and probably buy the rest in Pioneer, because I know that's the cheapest brand. All right, yep, so it's about a thousand bucks a pallet. It's about 21 pallets, so that'll be $25,000. 25000 Some of the pallets are uh, a little bit more money. All right, send over the invoice. I'll pay the invoice. All right, I'll send it over. You sit here with him. Let me go call the banker real fast, and I think somebody Nate? else will call me. Uh, I'll be back later. I'll, Nate? I'll see you. <laughs> Come here. What? How did you overdraft? See, I forgot to pay other bills that was due. And those other bills that was due for, was from other people who had helped me while you were gone. Um, Because I'm the main boss. I had to pay people to help me out. So we're not that bad. All I need to do is go get me a $50,000 loan to last me through the rest of the year. Uh, all right. Oh, Lord. He's going to kill me. Hello? Hey, you tried to call me a second ago? Yeah, hey, I was uh, just trying to figure out if you were back yet to see about renting this equipment from you. Oh, I'm not yet. I am currently over here buying some seed from the seed dealer. Yeah, I've actually got to make a quick phone call to my local banker because I may have overdrafted by a little bit. I think they said I'm already pre-approved for over $100,000, so I'm not too worried about getting a $50,000 loan to make me through the rest of the year, so fun stuff oh yeah i know how that is i'm starting to talk to somebody myself yeah that's what it takes to be farmers nowadays all right i'll talk to you later i'll be home in 20 minutes all righty okay so we're looking at my moab right now this is what the banker said we can take out a max of we can take up to a half a million dollar loan i don't want to do that no one wants to do that that is way too much money to be taking a loan out of but i am going to take a hundred thousand dollar loan it will be repaid every month i will be paying it for one year it'll be paid of eight thousand six hundred seventeen dollars a month on top of that that's why we're taking a little extra so we don't have to hurt we're just going to take that loan and here we go we are now sitting at 100k we will repay it slowly but surely so we're not sitting at such a drowning amount oh uh, let me go see how much these boys are up to and have loaded all right yosho we're both loaded now yep i just got through strapping her down uh, last one there we go now we just gotta slowly but surely make it on back to the house yep that's the fun part by the way i went ahead and got a loan for 100k oh boy all right we'll make that money back easily struggling better bud uh, uh, I think I'll be all right. Maybe. Oh, oh, come on. She's an old timer, but she's still got some power. Sounds good to me. All right. I'll see you back at the farm. I'll get there when I get there. Yeah. Well, I've actually got to go talk to somebody else real fast first. All right. We got us some apple cider. Delicious. It, apple cider is good, man. Do you not like apple cider? Well, I do like apple cider. You didn't sound very enthousi enthusiastic right there. Listen, I got so much stuff going on in my mind right now. I've got to lease out another. I got to lease out one of my pieces of equipment. We all know how that usually goes, leasing out equipment. Oh, on yeah. top of that, I've got to finally get started with plants. I haven't even put a seed in the ground yet man i see all the seed you just bought here that must have hurt the old pocketbook twenty five thousand dollars that's when i'm glad that my apple trees just produce apples on their own i don't have to buy more seed listen most of it's corn but i'm hoping we have some good hybrids in here that'll really boost the yield yeah it should definitely got plenty of seed there uh yeah we went for the mixture i went for all of them except pioneer because i know everybody around here is running pioneer this year yep Yes, they are. Well, I won't take up too much of your time. Thank you for the apple cider there, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you for the apple cider, bud. Yeah, no problem. I'll catch you guys later. Heard you have your second job you have to go to. So won't you go run over there, go deal with that in person. I have Mike coming over here to lease a piece of equipment for me. I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out for him. You go have fun with that. All right. Sounds good. Hello. Hey, Alex. I'm back at my farm now. I'm actually pulling out everything for you if you want to head over here. All right. Yeah. Give me a uh, couple minutes here. I'm uh, over at the dealership placing in a pre-order. Hopefully to get in there here in a little bit. Sounds good. Um, Actually, when you come over here, make sure you have deep pocket. Okay. Hydras ain't cheap. All right. So we got to back up on in here. We got to grab ourselves an anhydrous bar. So we'll go ahead and just snatch this dirty one right here. Yes, I can give him a quick rant before he gets here but what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna pull up into here pretty close to the tank just so i can get a pre-pressure wash down make sure there'll be no issues whatsoever when he comes to pick it up i don't want him complaining about oh it being dirty you know how people who lease stuff are i ran these suckers to 
F this year. But I will say these are some really good tractors. Do want to eventually this year replace this tractor, go in and fully redo it, which I do know with that tractor right there though, the turbo is actually going out in it. Do need to eventually replace the turbo. Need to replace the drive shaft in it. Everything around here is breaking down. Like everything up front, all that is, is just like broken down equipment that needs to be fixed or hasn't been fixed yet. So much to do, so little time to do it all. So everything's washed off. We can now actually back this on up. I really need to think about like how much I'm on charge, especially with the anhydrous in it. I paid like 50 grand for the anhydrous in it. Like the little, trust me, this little amount is worth it. So with everything that belongs on it, eh, 30,000? But I'll have to definitely see how much he ends up using of it. What we gotta do, we actually gotta go up in here, spray all this down, get out anything that's from last year, pretty much. Anything that could have a molding in here, all that fun stuff. Cause we've been using this for a few years now. We do a plan to eventually upgrade this, but I keep getting told I need to go into seed boxes. I don't know if I want to, what the goal is for me. I really need to talk to Yosho. And the reason I do tell Yosho all the finances, he's not just an employee to me. He is a partner and he's the guy who I make decisions with. Oh, hey, what's up, Nate? Same old, same old. Just trying to get the seed loaded up. What you about to do? Well, uh, I just got back. So uh, see if we can get this loaded so we can get some uh, seed in the ground. It's one thing we're needing, right? Yeah. Well, while I'm doing this, do you want to take one of those bags of channel and put it in one planter? Or do you want to take one of these uh, red bags and put them in the other planter? I can do that. Whatever you need. Let's do it. Or actually do half the rows and channel, half the rows and the other and do it for both planters. I know that sounds weird, but we do it like that because we're going to test hybrids right next to each other. See how they do. Okay. Sounds good. Let me find the planter. Where'd you keep them at? Oh, hey, they're right here. I mean, they're kind of pulled out. Yeah, yeah, they're right here. What's up, Alex? Not a whole lot, Nate. How are you doing? Oh, trying to figure out this stupid machine. It's not one to work from last year. You've come for something. Yes, the anhydrous bar. It is over here waiting. It is right here, all hooked up. Now, he has anhydrous in her, and I will be charging you for all the anhydrous you use that's in her. That's not a problem. I think I, you know, when I filled this up originally, I spent 70 grand to fill it up the first time. So, she's not cheap to fill up. You better hope and pray and what's in it is all you need to spend yeah i've got one big field and then one tiny field all right so you may or may not be able to get through it i know this is the only anhydrous tank i have here on the farm actually the other anhydrous tank was leased by another farmer but i paid him for what he I, he used on my farm here's the keys thank you sir don't wreck her don't destroy her and when you get back i'll send you an invoice right now if you were to use everything in her including everything you would be looking at 50 grand all right yeah that's not a problem so all right you have fun all right Thank you, sir. All right, yes, sir. I don't know about you, but I finally got my stuff. Did you get both the planters filled? I just got this one filled so far. I was about to hop into this one next. Let's go ahead and get that loader up real fast while you do that. Let me go ahead and pull this one up right here. Pull out of the way. All right. And I'm sorry now, you got the turbo. That's yeah, fine. All right, so this is now ready to go. Let's get folded up. You want to follow me in the truck first so we can take the seed with us and then we come back, pick up your tractor. Sounds good. All right. Were we supposed to fill these up with fertilizer? Uh, no, because we just put in hydrous on it and we're going to put fertilizer fertilizer on it when it comes to spraying because that's what we pay for a sprayer for all right so go ahead and jump in my truck and let's follow me on my way we are boogieing in this thing man you are moving <laughs> <laughs> this thing, this thing ain't going 50 miles an hour on road on road gears. It's pretty amazing for a tractor. Well, that's a good new John Deere right here. Hey, Yosho, do you think we should eventually take? I should take that tractor and go trade it for that 2011 Case IH up there at the dealership. That sounds great. Well, if we can get through the day with plant, if you can get through the day with it, I'll take it up there tomorrow and go trade her in. All right, sounds like a plan. Does that turbo sound like it's getting worse out there? Oh yeah, it's it's definitely getting worse. You want me to go ahead and take that in this morning and go ahead and trade it in? Uh, that would probably be a wise decision because. Uh, I'll be surprised if I make it there. I'm gonna hate to pull out all those monitors, but I'll go ahead and take that in this morning. I know the John Deere dealership has a 2011 Case IH for sale. I don't know how much they'll want for it though. Oh, uh, well, we gotta be careful. You already got more debt. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, pull the pin. There we go. So you know this field right up here around the corner up there? Uh, yeah. A small one. You should not have that done by the time I get back with the new tractor. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take this tractor up there, go get it replaced. I am so tired of this tractor. I now see what Yosha was saying last year with the turbo going out in this. Good part about this is turbo isn't that much, but I just don't feel like replacing it. Still should get about 70 grand for this tractor. What in the world is that racket? I don't want to talk about it. That sounded terrible. It almost sounded like it was a hippopotamus. 
hippopotamus grunting from 20 miles away. You know, some mating call of some sort. Listen, you know, like I know, that this turbo's been going on for a little bit. I think it's finally went out. I would think so. I'm here to upgrade tractors. Oh, you come to spend more money. Great. Come on in. Let's spend some money. All right. So what can I do you for today? I heard you got some tractors on the lot right now for sale. Oh, uh, what kind of tractor are you looking for, sir? I heard you have a 2011 Case IH Magnum. All right. Clickety-clack at the keys here. And, uh, yep. Sure enough, we got one on the lot. All right. Let's go take a look. All right. So this is the only case that we have out here. Oh, yeah. The 2011 3040 Case Magnum. There you go. She's a pretty thing, ain't she? Oh, yeah, she is beautiful. How much you want for? All right. Well, she's uh going for a hundred k right now. I mean, she is used, so. Yeah, that's fair. Guarantee that's probably the only one I can really afford right now. Yeah, you know them John Deere's. They're uh they got a premium price. Yeah, just for the green paint, you pay at least twenty grand for. Exactly. So let's go ahead and head on inside. Let's get the stuff drawn up for it. How much is this tractor over there worth? Oh, with the way this thing was sounding, it, it's uh, I mean I would almost pay you to take it away. But beside the point. Well, let's see. Uh, let me let me drive it real quick here just to see if there's anything else wrong with it. All right. So it just sounds like the turbo is the only issue with it. Yeah, that's what I told you. All right. So yeah, I'll, I'll give you uh, 70000 for it. That's a fair deal to me. I'll take it. All right. Sounds good. I love how we're getting a little audience over there. What in the world are they doing? I don't know. We want to know if you're interested in the gaming chair races we're doing later. Gaming yeah. chair races. Gaming <laughs> chair yep. races? Yeah, I have to be in on that. It's kind of hard to steer, but it's, it's kind of, yeah. you know... <laughs> <laughs> that actually looks terrible. Oh, well, that does uh, not look appropriate. Let's go inside and do paperwork. Okay, all right. Let's people. let's go do paperwork. All right. So here's the paper. I need you to sign on that dotted line and just sign your life away. All right. So you're taking seven. So you need thirty grand for my account. Go ahead and sign me over an invoice so I can go ahead and pay that. All righty. So we got the KSH 2011. We're gonna take this all the way to our field and hopefully this will be approved by Yosho Upgrade. Hey Yosho, you on the CB? That's uh, a big ten four there, Daddy O. What's up? Well, I'm coming down the road right now i'm on the back roads heading over there to you i just got ourselves a br new to us 2011 case ih magnum all right that sounds like a great idea i like it all right and on top of that it only costs us 30 extra grand oh boy more money hey you don't want to suggest to taking it in looking pretty in red over there nate oh yeah oh well, i gotta figure this seed depth out once i get this thing tuned in oh shoot you know don't do gun no good if i don't put this in the monitor uh that'll have to do for right now all right let me worry about getting out of here looking all right these closure wheels need to go down a little bit more tighten these up a little bit get a little bit more of an abrasive all right i finished up down here you finished up up there yep time to go around whoa this tractor will move i'm about to say slow down when you get out there because we gotta switch i think i've got her figured out so she should be correct depth i need to make sure i send this to the green star app all right, I think I have the monitor set up properly, but we'll find out if we lose all of our map data or not. All right, there you go. Thank you for my baby back. Stupid how we have to get to our fields and cut across this far. I feel bad about this. We definitely need to put in a better access point in these fields. And I know for you and say, I know this is why you never trust me to buy land while you're gone. All right, so you called me out on it. I don't want to hear it. But what we may do is we may come back during the summer and put in a bridge in between. All right, sounds like a plan. Not too bad here. Definitely seeming like we got a lot lot left still to do and a little time to do it let me make a phone call all right hello hey blake what you doing right now not a whole lot all right what's up you want to go get yourself a planter and come help me and your show out with planting yeah i can do that uh what field do you guys have well we're just leaving my field 18 but we're heading to 26 right now and you know that like i do that's a big field yeah that's a uh, corn yeah we're gonna be planting corn on that one all right i'll be over there in a bit sounds good just got off the phone with good old blake and he said he is coming up here all right hey nate you on the cb yeah what's going on there's this uh case tractor planting in your field right now i hope uh you're doing cotton right no i am not corn okay okay well corn yeah that's that's what that's what this guy's putting in there you, you're okay with that yeah i'm fine with you planting some corn all right yeah we're we'll get, we're here to help okay i appreciate it and just remember my planter's bigger than yours it's not how you how big your planter is is how you use your planter oh yeah and plus if you count technically this isn't my only planter i have yosho's planter that he's using too so that doubles the link we're tag teaming it you guys got this spot right yeah we got it i'm tired of planting i'll tell you that much 
I mean, you're gonna like it come uh, harvest time when you get the paycheck from this. That is true. Hey, do you know if everybody's supposed to be meeting up tonight or not? Is it poker night? I thought it was poker night over your house. Yeah, any night. We can do it every night. We got that nice little uh, canopy out, out back we can use. We can get some of that apple cider going that Happy makes and, you know. Ike it a little bit, yeah. Texas hold them, right? Sounds good to me. Why don't you go ahead and go set that up? I'll be over there in a little bit. I'll pay you for what you owe me. I owe you. Nah, this is, uh, we're even because you helped me out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go get it set up. All right, sounds good. All right, yo, so I'll let you grab that last little bit right there. I'm gonna go ahead and fold her up. All right, see you back at the farm. Hey, Blake, I'll pay you at the poker game, okay? All right. Oh, all righty. So this is this field done, those two fields done, and we still got so much to plant. I'm gonna have to ask everybody tonight at the poker game if we they can all help me out tomorrow. All right, we're gonna pull in our farm. Yeah, I've definitely got to ask them. I'm gonna pull Yosho to the side before we leave. Plus, we still at least need to plant two more fields of corn. Oh, looks like Alex is back up here. Oh, yep, he's sitting up there. All right, what's going on, buddy? Oh, not much. Brought her back and got her all cleaned up. Topped her off with fuel for you. I appreciate it. How much did you use? I used everything you had in there before, and then I brought it back with just about how much you had in it before. I had to refill it, and I rather got too much than not enough. Uh, you want to call it dead even? Okay, uh, yeah, we can call it even on that. How much do I owe you for rental of the tractor and everything? Uh, I was just going to call it dead even for the rental of the tractor thing. All right, and then the next thing I wanted to talk to you about was the uh, custom spraying you offered. Oh, yeah. You need it? Oh, uh, yeah. Just, hey, let me know when you want that done and what fields you want done and what you want done on it, and I'll come over there and get it done. All right, yeah, not a problem. I'll keep you updated. Sounds good to me. And then uh, we're all heading over to Chris's later for poker? Yeah, um, we're supposed to be heading over there in a little bit to go over there, see everything, play some poker, beg everybody to come to my farm tomorrow and help me plant because I'm so far behind. Because I, I can't point fingers, but I think somebody was missing for a few days so i couldn't plant nothing i don't know who that could have been i don't i don't know what you're talking about i properly filed for it and it was approved thank you all right bud yeah you have a good one let me go yell at yosha all right well we got to do something i never thought i would have to do oh boy we're gonna beg for people to come help i'll let you do the begging remember what happened last time when i begged it didn't go so well yeah i know we just gotta have more help we only planted three fields at least one of those fields was humongous yeah we got the big field done harvest season is gonna be fun harvest season and we got some decent rows, but we are definitely going to need help with that. But I think if we go up there by say, hey, we've been helping y'all out a lot over the last few weeks. We need a return. We need some really big help tomorrow to come out and completely plant our fields and help us get caught up to where we need to be for them. And, you know what I mean? If we have to put some favors, give people favors. Yep. Sounds like a plan to me. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to win big tonight. Let's go. Oh, yay, with my money. Uh-huh. You better believe it. There's Nate and Yosha. We're happy. Late as normal. Sounds about yeah, right. Up. I'm still loading a semi. You telling me on all these chairs, you couldn't get a blue chair? Uh, no, there's not an option for a blue one, actually. Here, hold on. Yeah, there you go. See? See, now the wheels are blue. Purple, but well, that'll work. Is it purple? Yeah, it's close enough. Yeah, start my chair. Move it closer. <laughs> 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 Ain't nothing like starting the chair. <laughs> So we all agree that Happy has to bring the drinks now since he is the last one, right? Well, he was bringing the spiked cider. I was about to say, he was bringing the cider no matter what, but my bet was he has to pay for our first rounds. Fair enough. So the first round, we're betting with Happy's money. All right, sounds good to me. Uh, nah, <laughs> None of y'all better go all in, I swear. First turn, don't even do nothing else. All in! <laughs> there he is. I got the apple cider. There you go. Where's my chair? There it is. Yep. What took you so long? I was working still. I had to get a uh, semi loaded up to sell for tomorrow. You're selling tomorrow? Yeah. Only apples, not apple cider. So you have it just sitting in that reefer I saw when I went by? Yeah, it is. It's all locked up. Yeah, so when we go by here, if you want some apples, I know where to find them. You're going to say that. <laughs> Don't worry, Daryl probably have already stolen them, so. Probably. Well, hold up. Before we get started, so I got a question for all of y'all. All of y'all, most of y'all have already done all y'all's work for right now, right? And got some time off. Not really, because we still have hay or at least silage to make. There is no stopping with apples. I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'm still betting your money tonight, so I'm not too worried. So for the ones that don't have anything to do, would y'all mind coming out and helping me Yosho tomorrow? Because we have way too many fields left to do. Way too short of time to do them. You got a sprayer? Yeah, I do. Can I borrow that sprayer? How about I do you one better? I have an old sprayer that i'm fixing up all right that's a deal so who's all in let's do it let's do it i mean right, sounds good it. all right so let's uh someone get the chips out and remember we're converting happy's money so happy how much money you got in the uh, bank? i didn't bring any money with me so don't worry that we all take checks um let's see my bank account has ten thousand dollars in it right now so i don't have much to be honest and i've got a hundred thousand dollar loan all right everybody get in here use your own money let's get playing boys who's the dealer i'll do how steals first here we go yeah hi it's tidy out of bed wonder if hazard's awake yet hazard yep ah. 
Ryan Shine, why are you in the corner? Um, I don't want to know. You ready? Yeah. I'll let you take your truck. I'm going to take my truck. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Just follow me. If I hit you, it's not my fault. You'll live over there. Got a little bit of a headache this morning. Oh, we all have headache. Hey, if you need anything from Don General, Don General's over there. Wonder who else is all up here. I don't know. I hope Bryant's smiley face is up here. Ah, uh, he might be. I know he's supposed to be helping us out today because we are late finishing up planting. There's the Taco Bell. You got me kidding me. <laughs> Why does this keep doing this? This truck has no stability. Hold up. Did you hit me while I was turning? Is that why I flipped? I think so. You son of a gun. <laughs> you took the turn too slow. I'm like, how am I losing control? Okay. Some madman over there. No, that was all him. I don't want to hear that being me. Oh, dog. That Ford can't turn. Uh, they don't open till 6.30, y'all, and it is yeah. currently 6.15. I got something. Hey, 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 we're not doing property damage. Hey, You're oh, not going oh, back to jail for no, that. No, 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 no,
Oh, that's why. Okay. If you're looking for work, we can always put you to work. Oh, I'm sure you can. It's not the putting to work that I'm worried about. Because believe me, I got plenty over here. He actually wants less work and better pay is what he's looking for. Uh, yeah, and isn't that what all the kids are screaming nowadays? I figured I'd jump on the bandwagon with him. So that means he needs to get a happy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Become an apple farmer. Hey, that sounds like a great idea. I love apples. I love the apple cider, too. That was actually pretty yummy. The apple pie was really good, too. You got apple pie? All I got was apple cider. Please tell me it wasn't a crunch top. Because, like, the crunch top apple pie is the best. Oh, yes. We had some vanilla uh, ice cream, too. What? Mm -hmm. Okay, I got to have a word with apple. All right, I got to have a word with happy. <laughs> I got to have a word with <laughs> apple. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nate, I think we need to invest in one of these uh, these planters. It's really, really nice. Listen, we have two Kenzie planters. We're good. We might do it next year. Let's see how much money we get this year. With all these soybeans? Oh, boy. You forget, we have one big field of corn. I think that would produce more money than anything. What you plan on doing with the corn? Well, depending on how much money we make on it, I might try to sell a quarter of it and turn the rest of it into dry corn. Nate, you on the CB? Yep. Just got back in my planter. We're all done with 19 and 17. Where do you want us to head next? Go ahead and head over to 35 and 43. All right. That's closer to your farm, right? Yep. All right. We'll be there. All right, boys. Looks like we, uh, we're done. Yay. So we're all meeting back up at Chris's for fun, right? Oh, I just remembered. I got to go return this thing. <laughs> all right. Return the tractor. Hang on. You turn. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> oh, Yo, I gotta go return the planter. I'll be back. Yo, so you realize you could have just went back to the house and waited and took it back after everybody left. Nate, you need to fire him. Been trying to. I'll hire him. I wonder why Chris wants me to fire him. I need help in har harvest season. Don't we home? All right, just dropped off the cedar I'm on, or planter. I'm on my way back. Sounds good. We're going to need you because we got to start pulling stuff out. Hey, Osho. Hey, what's up? Do you think we should just stick this big cultivator right here outside for the rest of the summer instead of trying to put it back in that shed when we're going to need it during the winter? Uh, Yeah, I think you. I I think it would be wise to leave it out and make life a lot easier. All right, so we'll leave this big one outside. I'm going to unfold it at least to give the hydraulics a little bit of a break. We need to figure out what we need to pull out first. Do we want to leave the quad track in here or do we want to put the quad track in the main showroom? I said we put the quad track over here. Put the quad track in here? Yeah, because I mean, it's it's a major workhorse and we haven't been using it, man. Well, we have, but we just didn't need it. Well, you get the sprayer out. I'll drive the quad track out. All right, so we'll swap those because we're about to really use the heck out of this sprayer. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do this a smart way. I don't really say that that often. What are you doing? Well, we got to work on the sprayer. So what's the easiest way to work on spray nozzles? Make sure nothing's plugged. If you don't, lower it down to the ground and unfold it. Y'all ready to go to the bowling alley? Sure, let's go. When we get back, go show you're the first one working on it. Cheers. Well, boys, almost like I seen y'all a couple minutes ago. It's been a minute. I'm so tired, dude. Okay, so after y'all left, we put our planters up. We had to take everything out of that barn because Yosho didn't know how to park it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What do you mean I didn't know how to park it? You know what I was saying? When do you have your hires wearing the same shirt? I guess that's three uniform hey what's up all right time to get a perfect 300 let's go yeah let's do this the next day there we go last nozzle put on there i work those boys can't be still asleep really there's no way they're still asleep after all this time let me go wake them up good morning good morning what y'all two boys up to cinnamon rolls those are stale he said he made them this morning will you eat shut up and eat one no i'm not because we're going to tim hortons this morning my <laughs> cinnamon rolls are way better than tim hortons <laughs> reheated tim hortons cinnamon rolls okay that's a new one get out uh, you um, get out this is my house get out you get out you know what can we all fit in hazards vehicle probably yeah. oh, all right we're going in hazards all right turn left up here i got it i got it by the way boys just letting y'all know i went ahead and put the spray nozzles on the sprayer so we've got those brand new spray nozzles could be better for spraying the chemicals we need to spray so so what kind of chemicals we uh we spray in there we're spraying uh, insecticides and we're spraying some roundup you know like insecticides hurt the environment i mean it's it's, it's not good stuff i don't care i want my profit I, I see that could give you cancer too uh, yeah we'll live <laughs> man bring a kubota did this man ever, did, wow that's a true farmer right there yeah this man had to have his hazards on too coming down here yep what kind of driving was that blake you better mean? than yours exactly I, i'm not even driving what are you talking about well that's exactly my point at least i haven't gotten a crash on my freaking record whoa 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 me either <laughs> i don't think you can say that legally do we need to mention the cars yeah, yeah no we don't need to mention any cars <laughs> do, we need, yeah, okay. do we need to mention both the cars both the whoa 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 there is only one. Oh, i need chemicals still uh oh boy i need another loan <laughs> really i still need another loan boys hazard come take me home Listen, your paychecks are still being signed, okay? It better be. You know what? Abby, it's your turn to pay. No, I gotta I gotta head out. I can't stay very long. No, so, no, no, um, no, no. Yeah, let's go. 
Go pay. Why, why do I have to pay? Because you're the only one who hasn't yet. All right, let's go get some food real fast, and let's all get to work. Nothing over $5 for each of you, okay? You know, Times are tough. everything at this place is over 10 bucks, right? Oh, well, then we can't go here. We got to find go to McDonald's. Nope, I'm going in. Nope, you're paying for it. Gosh, dang it. <clears throat> that was a delicious meal. Yeah, thanks, Happy. Yeah, sure. Uh, Happy, I do got a question for you. I know you got a lot of hay that needs to be done, right? Oh, a lot of hay. Either one of these guys right here need a job to do for a little bit, and I'm Not bailing it. them out. What? Well, like uh, one of them just quit. I can't pay much, but uh, how much can you pay? Five bucks an hour. I'm out. Five grand. I've got three grand in the bank right now. You'll have them for three weeks. All right. All right, Hazard, you're his. Uh, you're my employee. No, I'm not. I've got I've got spraying I have to do. Me and Yosho has spraying we have to do. Hazard has nothing else to do. Uh, do you have an extra sprayer? Cause I need to get some fertilizer sprayed on some of my fields. Come to my farm after we get done here, and we'll talk about it. So I'll meet you, Alice, at the farm, Hazard. You're his. Then y'all are trapped here because my truck's here. Well, that's that, that's a company truck, so I ain't too worried about it. So what I need to do, yo show, is I need to call Happy, see if Happy will go to the co-op for me and load up in the back of the semi-truck on spray chemicals. You agree? Sure. And then I need to go inside and go get the loan. Oh, boy. Go ahead and keep running over the sprayer, make sure she's all ready to go. I think somebody else is supposed to be here in a little bit. While they do that, I'm going to go ahead and get another 70K. All right, so... We're going to do this. This will be the easiest way to do it. We're not paying more than 3000 on this payment. We're also getting a $90,000 loan. It shouldn't be as bad. We're going to repay the loans, ladies and gentlemen. That is guaranteed. Now, we have another 90000 which we're going to immediately turn around and spend most of it on chemicals. Got to give Happy a call because that trailer over there isn't going to work for me. So I'm going to give him a call, see if he can load up the chemicals in the back of his reefer or at least come over here and get my reefer and load them up in the back of his. All right, Yosho, how's she looking? You're looking pretty good. You did a pretty good job changing out all these nozzles. All right. I'm going to start her up, raise everything up real fast at least, and pull her up because we should have our first job to do here pretty soon. Hey, guys. Oh, hey. What's going on? What's up? Not a whole lot. Feel that. Other than I feel there's a lot of work being done. Unfortunately, we've all bottlenecked down to spraying. Yeah, and I think I'm the only one guy that really has a sprayer currently. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. uh, looking online at the shop. They've got a small one for like 15 grand. I was potentially going to look at, but I don't know. What is your schedule looking like? A lot of chemicals need to be sprayed, but I'm supposed to be getting a hold of another sprayer here pretty soon. Why? Uh, I was just inquiring. I mean, I'm inquiring another sprayer. I have some people I'm going to do some custom spraying for. If y'all want on that list, that's pretty easy list to get on how much though uh it depends on what you use how much chemical you use will all depend on how much you pay say you use an entire nurse tanker you will of course pay for all the fertilization but you will pay for all the chemicals or thought that i will prepay for the chemicals but then you'll turn around and pay me back but on top of that you would uh pay me an additional grand an acre how much does it cost if we use a whole tank so according to my tablet uh 20 grand 20 grand for the whole tank we on about 20 grand for that in total and another grand an acre all right so that'd be look can roughly what 10 acres so you'll roughly go to 30 but i do have a lot of, i do have extra chemicals that was planned to be used inside the sprayer behind me so if i use that on your field i'll half the price of the normal chemicals okay uh which chemicals are you referring to are you referring to herbicides or fertilization okay because my biggest worry field right now is the canola field that we just purchased that one's going to need fertilizer and it needs it bad uh, yeah i can get over there and do that me and yosho will figure it out from there and kind of figure out what we gotta do all right so we all agree yep here you go here you go yeah um once we get everything done i'll send y'all that i've actually gotta go pick up the new sprayer all right we'll all see right. you later then how's it going buddy Nate, is that you why drive the sprayer in here well, i got work to do with it but i came to talk to you what do you need well you know how you run the trucking company yep i need some pallets moved okay how many pallets you're looking at four pallets of fertilizer and then you're looking at about eight pallets of herbicide all right uh where is that and where do you need it moved to go up move to my farm all right i can do that. I'm assuming that's like an urgent thing. You need that done right now, right? Kinda. All right. Yeah, I can get on that. I'm not really doing much right now anyway. How much you gonna charge me? Probably 10 grand. But I got a deal. Oh, what's that deal? There is a dry box van out there in my front yard that needs a little work done to it, but you can have it. That works. Uh, how much work? Like a little bit of work or like a lot of work? Redoing the decks. Oh, okay. That's not that bad. Yeah. It's just, you gotta go redo the flooring. Yeah, that works then. Uh, we'll shake on that. I'll let you deal with that. Um, I need that as soon as you can get it done. Yeah, I I'll, I'll hop in the truck right now and get that done for you. I will also go ahead and tell you, you're going to need to pay for the chemical up front. And then once you get all that, just send me an invoice for it all. Yep. I'll send you an invoice. All right. I'll see you later. See you later, bud. Hey, Nate, you on the radio? Yes, sir. Remember that field I was talking about needing to be sprayed like 911? Yeah. yeah uh, I'm getting ready to start harvesting it. Do what? Yeah. I'm hooking up my header right now. So you're already 
harvesting? Yeah, so I'm harvesting that canola field we just bought. Do you need anything else, Fertilize? Uh, yeah, I still need... Hang on, let me check my map here. Well, won't you do yourself a favor? I'm here at the dealership. Let me do something with the dealership and get back with me when I get out, okay? All right, yeah, not a problem. What's up, clickety-clack of the keys? Are you trying to mock me or something? I take offense to that. I may just have to raise your rates just a little bit. Oh, don't be like that. I need to rent that spray. I need to rent that haggy sprayer out front. The haggy sprayer? We have one of those? Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, we do have one of those. Kind of your main showpiece right now. Well, yeah, true, it is. I, I forgot that was something new that we just got in. Okay, here we go. Clickety-clack of the keys. Let me see if I can get that thing pulled up for you. Um, Actually, uh, there's a waiting list for that machine out there. No, there's not, buddy. I mean, you both know that. Because if there was, it would all be used right now. Well, you know, I've got other people that are, like, interested in the machine, you They're know? They're interested, but... but I got cash in hand. Oh. Oh, so, um, let's see here. Uh, so what kind of, what kind of deal you want to make? I might be able to bump you up at the head of the line. Leasing it right now. Leaving with it right now. How, how much you willing to pay? That's the question. I mean, I got my, my flat rate here, but let me, let me hear your price. So the website said eight grand. For the whole day? Well, that must have been a typo on there. Let me, let me pull the clickety-clack of the keys here. Let me see. Oh, no, I guess, uh, it is eight grand. <laughs> Look at there. Tell you what. Make it 10, and I'll let you drive off with it right now. Deal. All right. Invoice me for it. Will do. Hey, Brian, you on the CB? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm coming to spray y'all stuff. I need to know what field needs to be sprayed. Uh, wasn't Alex just supposed to be calling you? He has not called me. I saw him going towards dealership. Yeah, that's supposed to be where he's going then. Alrighty. I need to know what field I'm spraying and what all I'm doing. Well, that's the thing. He is supposed to inform you that, but I guess he took off before. Dang, that's a big field. Yeah? You see what we got to deal with? Would y'all rather me, uh, delay my... Uh, spring and come help y'all out with harvesting? Yeah, that'd be great. Alright, let me get Yosho a call, and what we'll do is we'll get both of our harvesters out here, and we'll really knock out some acres. Yeah, because we did not expect this. Yeah, I can I can see. Appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and call Blake at the co-op. Well, looks like I gotta run over here put the sprayer up. Looks like we're not getting a spray in like I thought we were going to get today, but that's not a terrible thing. It means we're gonna get the harvest day, get the combines pre-dialed in, really get it good use out of them so far charge a little extra money get a little extra moolah but definitely does mean we are delaying our spraying a little bit to help out other people which to me isn't the worst idea look good got it here in one piece thankfully we didn't have any accidents oh yeah what you about to do after this uh i've got to go get my uh hayfield mowed and bailed and stuff how about instead of doing that you come help us out with harvest in the uh, neighbor's field and then we all help you get your stuff mowed oh you're doing some harvesting yeah i can do that we're gonna jump into i think they're barley or no canola my bad and it's a pretty big one so we're gonna jump into harvesting if you want you can jump in that truck right there and help us take that or jump into one of those three because when yosho gets back we're gonna take all three of those machines and come back for the truck you want me running uh truck combine grain cart what do you want me running can't tell you who's gonna run the truck i don't know we'll have to ask alex and bri when we get there we just need to get everything there first and there's oh, only yeah. gonna be three gotcha. of us to take everything first so i think we take the three slowest and come back for the fastest i'll move my truck by the way quick and then uh then i'll head over there all right so well we're, we're waiting on Yosho to get back. Ah, uh, gotcha. So you can put your truck to the side if you want and not really worry about it right now. Hey, Yosho. Yeah, what's up? Park that next to the Haggy for right now. We've got to go help out Bri and Alec. Oh, boy. You know, we're renting that Haggy by the day, right? I know we're renting it by the day. Well, no, we're renting it by the hours that we put on it. Oh, yeah, that's right. But, I mean, still, you got your daily rental. Man, we got us a nice little uh, train going here. Yeah, we're, we're taking the entire harvesting crew. Don't worry, boys. The cavalry has arrived with the grain cart. Yeah, y'all can start long ways and I'll finish this pass and we can go the other way. Did you just take my grain cart off-road? I didn't know. I, you didn't see anything. Uh-huh. I'll we'll take my perfectly good grain cart and go off-road with it. It's meant for that. Man, y'all are getting some bad yields. 94 bushels to the acre. Yeah, we didn't have a chance to do nothing. Sounds like an excuse to me. It's dropping down to 92 now. Are we going to 91? Yeah, we're in 91. I'm 97.9 bushels per acre. Brian, what do you think? You think we should sell some of this as we're going just to cushion our accounts back up a little bit? I would. I would, because you're going to everybody here a nice payment. Yeah, I'm charging you 100 high. grand. Nice <laughs> <service>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, I'm charging double what he does, because I got my machinery out here. So I'm just letting you know. 
<laughs> Listen, my header touched the field. That's an instant 100 grand. Yeah, we won't make any profit off of this then. Might as well give them the field at this point. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, I'll take the field from your hands. You keep the debt. I'll take the field. I'll yeah. take the field. I could turn this into a nice apple orchard. No, oh, no, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no more apple orchards. You know what? I'm gonna stop here for a second. I need to see if we're, if we're just losing a lot. Why do you care? It's not your field. Well, the better we do, the more we get paid. Ah, oh, that's true. Hey, yo, show. You might want to stop your combine and at least look and see if you're kicking out anything out in the back. Because I'm kicking out some. Yeah, bro, you stop too. These plants are a little bit smaller than I thought they were. I need to close in the concaves. Yep, all right, there we go. Looks like I'm actually running pretty good there, Nate. Okay, I didn't know. I know I had to tighten my concaves up a little bit because it, I wasn't getting all the stuff off the plant. Yeah, I will say this, yo. So at least for us, this helps us get everything pre-dialed in. Yep. Thanks. What's wrong, Alex? It helps us know if there's going to be anything wrong with the combine when we go to use it. What are you doing right now? Are you using it? Yeah, we're using it. You know how combines are. There's sometimes they'll add completely fine, but once you get like three acres in, they completely break down. Yeah, and that way, uh, if something happens, it's in your field, not their field. Exactly. That's why I'm chesting it in theirs. So if I break down, I'm at least holding up their production, not my own. You're such a kind and caring person there, Nate. Listen, I'm over here. I'm over Ain't here with my really? own kind. Listen, <laughs> I'm putting. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm putting. I am putting acres on a my combine for these people. Okay, that is a nice well, gesture. You're gonna get paid for it too, so I'm still putting acres on combine. All right, Brian, you get the last little bit. Yep. I, I don't even want to know what Alex and uh, Happy's doing. I don't think I do either. Well, let's just say something may or may not have been bulldozed. Don't you dare, because I am empty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I think I think it would have reached too. I see what you were doing. I was like, uh, nope. <laughs> that is not about to happen. Did someone get the green card on my way? I'm coming. Thank you. I need to take this back home and get Yosho to watch this and go over it and make sure we ain't break nothing. Huh. I'm doing it with you. I don't want to hear nothing from you. All righty. We're going to pack this up. And I think I'm going to head this back to my farm. And I'll come back and get that after they get done. Hey. Nate, why? How, how do we get all this money, dude? Like, I mean, I'm not complaining, but I mean, you didn't steal nothing, did you? No, I got a loan. <sighs> no, I didn't take out a loan this time. Where'd you go? I, you said you took out another loan. I, I don't want to deal with it. I didn't take out a loan this time. We actually made it legitimately. Well, I mean, taking out a loan is legit too. I mean, it's just normally you incur interest and you have have more fees and yeah. Yeah, no, we paid it back. Remember that money we invested into? No, but I don't remember a lot of things. So, so I took out a hundred grand loan, then a ninety grand loan. Blast me the rest of the year. That's right. Okay. Yep. I remember that. I'm on the same page now. Let's go. 35 grand of that has been for me doing some spray work for Brian and Alex. I did a bunch of custom spraying for them. I've already finished that. Okay. So we've already done that. And on top of that, another 10 grand actually came from Happy because me and Happy did some harvesting. I had to take all my harvesters out and go take it to his farm. And we got his entire field harvest and he gave me 50% of the profits. All right. So did you already send that money to the bank and pay it off? No. So we still, we still owe the 190. Well, then let's, let's pay some of that at least. No. What? Well, let the payments come out and we'll pay it all back in one big payment. Yeah, but that's going to be, you know, interest. You know, you paid off earlier, you know, you pay on the principal you realize interest. you realize look you realize if we don't have money in the bank we'll go into red we go into red that means we can't spend no money we can't go get breakfast we can't eat no money i can't sign your paychecks you only pay like half of it right now that's at least you're paying on the principal come on paying on the principal isn't doing nothing but setting me back i hold it out till we get our paychecks it's going to work fine okay because we pay i think it's like well, you're the payments. one writing the check, so as long as you write the check for me, then I'm okay. So where are we going to eat? Taco Bell. Taco Bell? Really? Yes, yeah, Taco Bell. For breakfast? Did you not see the new breakfast taco? No, I live under a rock. You need to watch more commercials. Oh, no, no. I always go to the next video when I see a commercial. Yo, sir, you see how the county only mowed one half of the road? Yeah, uh, what's up with that? That's called the Happy Mowing Company. Oh. What happens when someone gets happy a mower and tells them to mow the city? He only mows half of it. Oh, boy. Them boys are going to be so mad with us. Are they? Yeah, we're the last ones to arrive. Oops. Nope. 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 You can't nope. come in. Let me in. Nope. He's going to the other door. Side door, side door, side door, side door. Side door. Side door. Side door. Side door. Oh, Good job. I'm here. Go. Oh. Ah, yes. Oh. <laughs> nah, that's the one we need to keep out. Why do you let him drive still? I don't know. I'll take a vow. <laughs> You're not coming in, Yosho. No. What? You cannot do no. it. You're... Hey. Sorry, we're closed. I'll just Come go to Waffle House. Day. See you guys later. Okay. All right. Bye. So what's well, he's paying, didn't... by the way, so. Yeah, he didn't even. Paying. Yosho, you want to go buy, you want to go get kiss the deer? I'll buy you one. Yeah, sure, sure. I mean, you already got me a crunch wrap. Okay, while they're doing that, we're happy. I, I know you're supposed to be bailing us that field today, right? Yes, I am. You want any help with that? 
I mean, sure, I'd take the help. It's a pretty big field to bail. Me and uh, Yosho and is going to go pick up a bailer. And after we pick it up, we'll come help you bail for a little bit. We got one field we got to go spray left. Then we're going to go help you. And then I think we're also, by the end of the day, end up in Swifty's field. You got a field to harvest or something or what? I got two fields to harvest today. All right. Hey, uh, Nate, by the way, is there any way I... You need a hydro spar. Yes, I need a hydro spar for that field that we just harvested. Stop by the farm here in about 10. Actually, just come directly over our farm and grab the hydro spar. All right. Hey, Nate and Yosho, y'all want to radio yeah hey uh if y'all want to you can borrow our alice charmers to pull that round baler yeah uh, we got it we got a tractor good enough to we got a tractor perfect for bales all right i i'm just double checking making sure yeah thank you though man not a problem what are you doing yosha getting me a tractor for what for bailing that's not a bailing <laughs> tractor no don't you even disgrace that no no uh, no put that tractor back up no we're not even going to joke like that you might want to bring that 8r over here and let's watch it all oh really you're gonna make me bring the 8r over there now now that you know i, I can't Bring it over here, just pouring salt on the wound, huh? Don't worry, though. I love you, buddy. I know you do. Unless you only this right here, unless you wash both of these tractors, and unless you wash my truck. Oh, oh, oh. So you were talking about washing. Now, all of a sudden, it looks like I'm washing them, uh huh? Ain't nothing like having good, clean equipment. You say so. We're just going to get it dirty again. Yeah, but it keeps us from having to do everything else. At the end of this year, we need to go through and respray all these rooms yellow with some spray paint. Okay. We got a visitor. Oh, yay. How y'all doing? Doing good. How about you? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. So, Nate, with that uh, massive breakfast order you just got, you want some uh, maple syrup to wash that down? He has oh, maple me. syrup. Hey, hey, he has maple syrup. Yeah, add it to the collection. Whoa, like everybody's showing up here. What's up with this? Is this like the local hangout or something? What are you talking about? Did y'all forget that we were coming? I know, Yosha just isn't the smartest in the world. Hey, oh. hey, hey, hang on, hang on. Hey, Nate, 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 get out of the Kubota. Why? I'm getting your maple syrup down. I, I'm the one that's licensed to drive it. Get out. No, you are not. <laughs> So, Bri brought our tractor over to do in Hydra Swift. Okay, I'll take mine off then. Yep, yep just save you some uh, hours on your tractor. I didn't care. I just was trying to get the vehicle out already, ready to roll. You have a baler? Yeah, I got a baler. I've got it uh, pulled out in front for you. I'm going to borrow that, and I'll, I'll, I'll take off 50% off of the uh, rental. All right, not a problem. Oh, Yosha's doing his job effectively. Oh, uh, I there. took the initiative. See, Nate, look, I told you, eventually they can be trained. Uh, still like teaching an old dog new tricks. So, from what I see, I think I'm good to go. I'll see y'all boys. Hey, when y'all get back, do me a favor. Just park it over there in, in front of the two doors. All right, not a problem. Yosha, is there anything else you need from my inside of here? No, I'm driving the tractor to go pick up the baler, right? Yeah, I'll meet you at Happy's. Oh, you know me. Hey, Yosha. What? Go get that thing and bring it back to the farm. Why? You know, we we can't do nothing until we get our own stuff done, right? What do we got to do? We still got one field to go spray. Well, that's what you were taking care of. So am I still going to get the baler now or what? Yes, go get the bait. I said after you get the baler, come back to the farm. Okay. All right, got to get this whole field knocked out. Like, this is the last field we have to do. And then we have officially finished up all of our other fields. Then I got to go help out Happy. And then I got to go help out Swifty. Then I should be done for the day, hopefully. And like that, we are done. There is no more spraying to do. The only reason I didn't spray this the other day is because I had to go all the way back home for the chemicals and it just wasn't worth the time to come back just to spray this little field or if yosho's picked up the baler yet hey, yosho radio yeah it's a big 10-4 you got that baler yet i'm heading back to the farm with it right now all right nate i'm back at the farm yep i'm pulling back in the farm right now and i'm gonna pull directly in and just park it happy you on the radio yeah i'm here what's going on where are you at in your field uh, i'm on the far north side well i come over here with a trailer do you have a tractor that can be used to load up the bales with mm, no you don't have nothing that load bales with nope Hey, buddy. Yeah. I'm um, just letting you know, you need to go and get the Kubota. What? You mean he doesn't have a tractor? No. You need this good there. Have fun, bud. So what are we doing with all these bales? Are we selling them or do you need them? Uh, we're over here just having you out, bud. So they're my bales. You said you wanted the bales, so we gave you the bales. All right. I just want to make sure. Hey, Nate, you on the radio? Yeah, what's going on? Hey, uh, is there any way I can borrow that other anhydrous bar and tank from you? I don't have a another tank. You'll have to go rent the other tank, but uh, I do have the other anhydrous bar. You need the tractor too? Uh, yeah, I'll need a tractor this time because that's my only big tractor was the one we came over with this morning yo show is your truck unlocked uh it should be yes look in the center console of Yosho's truck there should be a key to that tractor and the key to be able to open up the door i, I appreciate it all right you go get that knocked out then this is actually producing pretty well how's it doing over there for you it, it's going really well over here there's a lot more bales here than i thought yeah i've already well i've already put down at least 13 bells yeah this would have been a lot better if we would have got a front end loader for a tractor you're doing fine uh-huh you know you 
you can just move them in like to patches and then move the truck to the patch that you're doing. That means I gotta walk. Walking's good for you. Oh, boo hoo hoo. Cry river of tears. Well, here's the least go parts. Once we get done battling this, then we just get to sit back and watch your show work. That'll be fun. What's you gonna do with all that hay across the road? I'm gonna sell it. Unless you want it. No, he doesn't. Last time I checked, my banking account was linked to this, not your show's. So try your show. I was just making sure that I didn't have to go load it up. Oh, you can. Yeah, you, you have to. Yep, yep. I mean, he has you for the next three days, so. Yep, there you go. Go load it up. I need a tractor with a front end loader. Uh, we don't have that. Just to make it a little bit better for you, bud. Not only did he do that, you also have to load his up onto a semi-trailer, okay? Like a box car? No, but I could make you do that. That'd be pretty no, fun. Please, please don't, because there's no way I'd get it in there. All right. <laughs> I got the last bailout. I ended up with 19. I'm gonna leave your show with you. I'm gonna go return to Baylor. Hey Alex, you wanna see me? Yes sir, what's going on? Oh, I'm driving back with your Baylor right now. I got you. We put 19 more bells through her. Oh, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. The bride just finished up a few minutes ago with the anhydrous bar, but he had to run up to co-op real quick and meet up with Blake to get some more seed. Uh, after he gets done with that, I'll have him uh, link up with you to drop off that anhydrous bar and get you settled up on that. Wait, did you tell out bro I went to go buy more anhydrous? No, more seed. Why? I had an entire thing of seed. We didn't know that. I'd go tell your partner before you made any decisions. Uh, that's too late. Uh, where do you want this thing parked? Just set it back up where it was. I don't know where it was parked. That's your issue. Oh, uh, right there next to that dumpster. All right. I'm actually you getting ready to come over there here in a second. Yeah, for I was about to say, I didn't know where in the world y'all parked this thing at because I sent Yosho to come pick it up. I left Yosho with Happy for the rest of the day. He should, he's supposed to be helping him pick up all, I think Happy said like 800 bales he has over there right now. All right, well, I'm gonna let you do that then. I'm gonna go ahead and head over here. I think I'm gonna head to the other side of the river though and go do some grain carting for Swift. All right, uh, real quick, we used about 30% of that in hydrous that was in there. Uh-huh. Do uh, you wanna go ahead and send me an invoice for that and I'll go ahead and get that drop back off over at your place? Yeah, I'll send you an invoice here in a little bit. 10-4, appreciate it. Hey, Yocha. Yeah? I'm going to be heading across the river. Is there anything you need? Uh, no, I should be good. Uh, well, I'm going to go switch out my truck with the farm truck. All right. Hey, Happy, I'm just letting you know you're Yocha's boss until he gets done. Oh, okay. Or actually, hold up. Never mind. Bryce coming up here. I guess we he's dropping off the anhydrous bar. I'll do it with him first when I head over there. Hey, Nate, and where do you want this parked at? Uh, probably in this grass that my truck is sitting on. When do you drive a Dodge? This, this is the actual farm truck, and my truck has a bell trailer hooked up to it. Right there? Yeah, that looks good to me. All righty. Earth the O show. Yeah, I need a tractor with a front end loader. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Anyway, what's up? You made another 25 grand. I see that. We're doing pretty good. You say so. Doing pretty good. Y'all got most of the field. Like I said, if I had a tractor, it would be nice. Let me see if I can get my debt paid off first. If I pay my debt off, I'll take out a loan and buy you a tractor, okay? I'll believe it when I see it. And like I don't ever take care of you, give you the best of the best equipment, still complaining. Hey Swift, you on the radio? Yeah, what's up? I'm on my way. Okay, sounds good. I already got the barley harvest done, so we just need to do the canola. Well, I'm coming to help you. I'm gonna run your grain cart for you. Well, I don't have a grain cart, unfortunately. Oh, you don't got a grain cart? No, I don't have. I didn't have enough money to get one. Let me go see what I can scrounge up for you, since you don't got a grain cart. All right. Oh, I think that's the smartest thing to do for us would be just to grab the old harvester up front. I think the last thing I harvested was that. So we will turn that off right there. This thing up and rolling, by the way, just want to say this. It's the decals. We actually have decent decals now. It's not the best, but it could be a lot worse. Alrighty, now we got to head on down the road here. And this will definitely be the furthest I will ever go with a harvester. Hey, you at your field yet working? Yeah, I'm just pulling up there right now. Uh, well, I'm not too far behind you there. All righty. Nice combine. Thank you. When I was harvesting barley, the barley were earlier, my combine was having a little bit of a grunting noise. It was weird. Ah, uh, that ain't good to see. No, it's Especially not. Especially when we're this early in the harvesting seasons. No, that's not good. And the bad news is this is the only combine I have. See, yeah, I've got at least two of these. Yeah. Believe it or not, I took the smaller one over here. I probably should have brought the bigger one, but I didn't feel like bringing, because this one was in front. I just took the one that was just one. Instead of just taking the furthest. Right. I'm averaging about 94 bushels to the acre. That's real good. That is not real good. What you talking about? Well, 
You should be getting about 200 bushels to the acre. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to get this field limed and fertilized before everything was all grown, so it happens. Oh, yeah. So, where's Yosho? What's he doing? Yosho right now is currently working on uh, Happy's farm right now. Oh, is he? Yep, I sent him to go work over there ah. because Happy had to get some work done, and since this really and truly isn't that big of a field, I'm just coming over here by myself because there was no reason to pack up two of these right here well and then obviously you kind of crowded with three with three machines yeah we would have been done by now with three especially that one i have the header on that big one i have is like double the width of your current header yeah well i was um thinking about since you came all this way um what about um i give you um about 15 grand for you coming all this way to help out i appreciate it man yeah no problem i do appreciate the work the help obviously hey i hear we all we all have to work yeah you just got lucky i've done all my work already yeah no kidding. Well, how did the planting season go for you all? Uh, planting season went pretty good. I got done with mine kind of later than I wanted to. Yeah. But after I kind of finished that up, because I'm only soybeans and corn planting, I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, I um, accidentally planted this field canola. I was you know, <laughs> planting this field soybeans or corn or corn one of the two crop and i wasn't paying attention and i um i did vanilla and i was like oh crud yeah you gotta be careful with your plant i think i'm done man all right i'll give you your 15 grand before you leave and we'll go detach this real fast and your truck's up here down here at the bottom of the field all right sounds good and you know, Nate, if you ever need some help, let me know. I'll definitely come down and give you a hand. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll call you definitely if I need any help. Who owns this on the other side of the road from you? I don't know. I need a place I can park. When do you plan on touching this field next? Not for a while. You think I can leave it here for a couple of days until you should come back out here and pick it up? Yeah, definitely. I'm okay with that. All right, I'm going to let you do that. Thank you, sir. No problem. Thank you for the help. I'm going to go ahead back to my side of town and go yell at Yosha. <laughs> do it. Yosha, you on the radio? Yeah, what's up? Well, I just got done harvesting with Swifty. Um, I need you to go pick up the header, though. Really? Yeah. We have an issue with the tongue on that trailer because that tongue is either too short or our combine's too high up off the ground. Because when you're driving down the road with it, it's starting to sway back and forth, and that gets really dangerous real quickly for my equipment. All right. Let me get back from the field, and I'll go grab the truck and go get it. All righty. Where's Yosho at? He's going to be so excited. Yosho. Yeah. Hey, what's up? We paid off our first loan. Awesome. That is, that's progress. We also paid off the most expensive loan per month. Okay. So what do we got left? Uh, 87,000. All right. All right. You're being responsible. Look at you being a responsible adult. Hopefully what we're going to go make today with out from Alex and Bri, we'll make enough to pay at least half off and still have enough money to make the rest of our bills. That'll be good. So you ready to go? Yep. Sure. Let's get it done. All right. We got to go warm up both the harvesters today get everything finished up for them all right we're heading on out gotta go to our first i would say the first harvest but lord knows i've used these harvesters for everybody else but my own field yeah when when are we ready to harvest that's our issue we still got about two months left before we harvest any of our fields ah uh, we'll be all right though once we get there well all of our fields are cash crops so we're gonna make some money where i think some of these farmers are just doing to repair their fields nutrients i'd rather the cash crops i'm with you on that one uh, i don't know about you but i'm not going inside their little farm with this big header machine. We'll park over here to the side of the road. About I'll let you take this one and I go up one more. All right, that works. You're right, we're finally here. Where are y'all at? Over at here at the, the back patio. Yeah, over here at the back patio where breakfast is. Get y'all's butt over here. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. It's time to work. Oh, right. shut up. You came over here to us to help us out. You're right. I came over here to help out. We got work to do. Nah, you ain't the boss here. Remember who's diesel we're spending right now. So? You didn't have to help. All right. Yo, should don't forget to set your monitor for this is oats, right? Yep. yep. All right, oats it is. All right, lowering the concave, so lowering that size. Ah, see if that works. Well, you're the first green one I've seen. Well, I mean, you did just spray this. Yeah, I know. So since y'all are only unloading into that one gravity wagon, do y'all need another one? Like, do y'all want to buy another one? How much? It is used. I give you two about 15. Give you 13 for it. Come on now. You're killing me, Smalls. Um, how does 13 say? Yeah, uh, let's go with 13. All right. If you find with 13, I'll sign on 13. That makes you feel good and fuzzy on the inside. Yeah. 
All right, I went ahead and paid you for that wagon. All right, well, you know where it sits. The one in the back? Yep, it's the green one right in the back. It's the keep of the kills, bros, for another project. Hey, brah. What? Green car driver, just letting you know, I'm full. Are you serious? I'm serious, I'm full. Gosh darn it, y'all. Stop eating so much. You should be happy. I am happy, but golly. The more we fill up, the more money you make. Do I get to take everything that's on the inside that's on with me, right? How many bushels have you got left in you? hundred. Take it. No, I'm not taking it. I ain't gonna do nothing with no hundred bushels. Sure over there trying to run over my syrup tank. Hold on, Yostra, how much you got in you? Zero. You unloaded all the way? Yeah. You <laughs> sneaky son of a gun. All right, boys, I'm going home. I'm going to go shut this combine down, and I'm calling it a night. All right, y'all yep. have a good one. Hey, I forgot y'all sandwiches, by the way. Yeah, we had nice Subway sandwiches for y'all. No, it's only Subway. I'd rather the steak dinner my wife is cooking. All right. Wife? I don't tell you everything about me. All right, see you later. Bye, click. All right, gotta get dressed, put my old clothes there, there we go. I gotta go this morning, go help, go talk to Chris. I know I gotta go drop off the sprayer I've been working on the last few days. Let me actually go show you what we've been doing to it. We finally got the sprayer fixed up. She's ready to rock and roll. I don't know if I've got a trailer or not that can really... You know what? I got an idea. Let me see if I can call out, like, nah. I'll just go ahead and hook up my truck. Come and get the old Ford out. Because what we gotta do, we actually gotta go take that sprayer to Chris. Because I remember the other day when I was doing some stuff that it is actually his sprayer now. So, hopefully, he enjoys it. But also, maybe make a little bit extra money. We do also plan to pay off our debt here relatively soon. How soon? I really don't know. Alright, so we gotta, first thing we gotta do is undo the wheels. Yes, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to pretty much back it on up here and kind of put it on here. Here at an angle which is probably gonna be a lot harder than you would think all right let me go get my skills here and let me put it on here correctly and about 30 minutes later we're actually able to get on head over to chris now hopefully he will enjoy this spray i know i did back when i used to use it but hopefully it will come in a good handy because i think he still got some weeds to spray but i think he wants to do himself i know chris wants no he wants to be self-sufficient enough but getting on the road here and trust me yes it is sitting at an angle i hope he has something to get off with because i do not have anything over here by the way ladies and gentlemen on top of that i will go ahead and mention so what i did is i found out the farmer that we were harvesting this over here for i talked to him and we are actually going to be leasing the field from him for 20 grand a year so that's another field we have to go ahead and get cultivated i'm gonna look to see what needs to be planted on it or i may try to even rent it out to chris for 30 grand a year we'll see what we can do um or at least get you know, I mean try to see if chris wants to help out with doing that field as well i mean it's a good size field but having other farmers team up to plant cultivate and share the profits on another big field is not the worst idea i've ever had in the world but i gotta run over here drop this off for chris and see what he says about it how's it going chris it's been a few days good nate what's happening what's what's going on i've come to get you the sprayer that you wanted oh uh, no do you know if the dealership has a return policy don't know That'd be a question for the dealership, not me. Oh. You, you want to talk about this over here? I totally forgot. Also, you forgot. I'm taking it back with me. I mean, I'll... No, no, no. That's pretty cool. Oh. <gasps> And you ride in it? Yeah, it's a, it's a high boy. Now, here's the fun part is if you want it, you got to figure out how to unload it without wrecking it. Because I had to use a skid steer to load it up here. You can't just drive it off? No, it doesn't fit. There's a reason it's sitting at an angle. Um, oh, maybe, is that Alex? Maybe Alex could help because I don't, I don't have any forks or anything. You don't have nothing right here to fork? So, so, you know, I had a rough year last year. I got rid of a lot of my equipment to just break even last year. So that's why I'm beating myself up over this stupid purchase that I shouldn't have made. Well, well, here's the good part. I mean, I'm taking a guess that has spot spray on it. It does. This doesn't. You would have wasted more chemicals with this. Uh, what did I walk into? He bought himself a new sprayer instead of remembering that I'm supposed to get letting him have this sprayer behind me. He went and bought himself a probably about a 30 grand sprayer if I take a guess. 50. 50 grand? Well, I mean, to start, it's cheaper, but when you add the extra features to it for the sea and spray, it, you know, that, that costs a little bit more. This man sat here and just said he spent 50 grand on that. You would have spent less money just waiting for me to come over here with this sprayer. That's why I'm beating myself up. I'm telling you, I'm stupid, and that's why I'm a failure. Oh, this farm's a failure. Well, I guess I could try to resell it if they won't take it back and get some money, because uh, you know what I could use? They'll probably take it back, but they'll probably take it back at a discount, because, you know, the old fashioned saying, once you take it out a lot, there goes 10 grand. Yeah, I mean, it would probably be enough to get a wind rower and potentially a cheap baler. So I do need those. Yeah, no, would not be the worst idea in the world. Well, about that, Chris, I'm actually contemplating getting rid of my round baler. Need a sprayer? <laughs> <laughs> you need a sprayer. <laughs> that's actually not a bad. That's not a bad deal for you, bud. No, not seeing. I just literally paid Nate thirty 
grand. Oh spraying. no, you you spent way more than that on on me doing custom spraying for you. If you add everything up, you've easily spent 60, 70 grand. All right, Alex, since you're getting like a 20 grand deal, do you think you can help me figure out how to get this offer here? Uh, yeah. You want me to go grab my Kubota? Be your best idea since you got to bring it over here anyway. Yeah, let me let me do that. Let me go get the round baler and bring that over and we'll unload and I'll hook up to that when we're done. Awesome. Hey, Chris. Yo. Can you put that down? Oh, yeah, it's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I bought another field that's closer to you. Or not bought, my bad, rented. You talking directly across the street from Happy? Yes. Oh, that was you. I noticed there were some changes. Yeah, I rented the field. I'm only paying. 20 grand a year for the lease so it's not that bad but that's still kind of out of my way to come this far over would you want to kind of partner up and we both take care of that field together what are you thinking of planting in it you have anything specifically you want to plant in it because i really don't have nothing that needs to be planted i've already planted all my corn and soybeans for the year that i need the only thing i was i was planning on doing is this area over here you see the chicken coop has no chickens in it yeah because i really don't want to buy feed i wanted to make my own and so i was thinking of turning this into a field but the potential of keeping this grass and using that field for something to get some chicken feed. But I don't know if that's a very profitable crop for a field that big. So the crop that was on it, me and Happy Harvested together, we made 30 grand a piece. Oh, no, we made 40 grand on the entire field. We split it four different ways. So you're making a 20 grand profit after product and everything. Well, by the time we get done paying the lease, the lease is 20 grand. Once we pay the lease for next year, we would be looking at a 20 grand ish it was barley that was on it last how was it taken care of like do you think we can get better yield out of it this year yes definitely it had a bottom of the barrel yield if you look here at my phone so i have the green star app here you can actually kind of see it on the map here I'm looking at it now. Yep. So you see that right there, how it, that's just not the yields it should have had for that. It should have been yielding very higher. So I do think we can go in, put some lime down and some other stuff and get a way better yield out of it. So we could potentially maybe double that, not the profit, but the, you know, instead of 40, it could be like 60 or 70. Mm hmm. But what would you like? So crop rotation might be important too. So barley, we need like, does wheat grow good here? What I've seen, I mean, I've seen some people plant wheat. I haven't seen a whole lot. I mean, is that what you're planning on planting? Well, I was thinking barley or wheat for the chickens. Yeah. You do got to remember, wheat takes an entire year. Same as barley. Yeah. But if we plant barley in it again, do double barley, a little bit extra fertilizer on it this time. If we plant it now, we can get possibly some soybeans on it next year. Okay. So what you're thinking is we do barley again, barley on barley don't worry about that because we we know we're gonna double crop next year yep i'm in so that would be the best bet would just be put up what do you think like a quarter of the field put it up for your chickens i know that over there it produced four semi truck loads oh my goodness i yeah a quarter uh, yeah i take a quarter i keep it for the chickens and you take your half and then the other quarter i could sell yeah, exactly that's kind of what i'm thinking because i know it did that how do we want to split up the responsibilities do you want to be reliable for this planting or spraying i can take care of the lime and get it prepped we could maybe plant together mm. since you were planting barley back in it i'd have to borrow someone else's planter now that you mentioned it i would too oh you haven't even thought about you over here playing to plant, plant this over here as barley you ain't got a planter i mean a cedar i just have a planter you know who has a planter alex i mean yeah alex has a cedar we could possibly borrow his but you know what isn't unheard of going to the dealership and possibly leasing us a second cedar oh for sure and then if we decide to do it again then it's time to buy one but exactly like, hey done oh Sir, you're back what did, I, what did i hear my name when i was walking we, we up? might need to borrow a cedar okay so if you need to borrow a round baler from happy then why did i bring or why are we trading for a round baler because two round balers makes it easier than just one you realize it still took me and happy because i went and borrowed your round baler for it it still took me and happy to round bail that entire field probably three or four hours yeah that's true and, and i'm going to be doing a lot of grass so i need my own baler anyways that's the next thing i was going to ask you about my bale wrapper because i no longer have a baler don't you do silage why are you selling all your silage they got a now? silage pit you just hate yourself that's all that is yeah, they, they like they like <laughs> rolling in the silage over there <laughs> they, they, they just hate themselves if they're all they're doing is just making silage and not putting the bales all right alex i want to see how I, you're how you're going to get this off of here i'm just going this direction oh, oh there we go so when he wrecks it, I'm just letting you know, I fixed this sucker. If he wrecks it, it's his own fault. Hang on. It's fixed? Yes. So it runs and drives? Yes. Chris, what are we yeah. doing? It's too wide. The second I try to drive, it's going to slip off the edge of the trailer. Do you need a, the ramps lowered, or what are you, what are you thinking here? Do you come over to the side? I, I'm thinking we come over to the side. All I can say is a little skid steer put it up there. You should be able to get it now. All right. Oh, we did it. You guys did it. Oh, and the baler's here. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's the matter? Nope. 
Nothing. What's wrong with it? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with it other than me almost snipping it. Oh. You, you just have to watch how fast you turn with it. I was about to say, hey, make sure when you turn with that sucker, you don't turn too fast. All right. All right. I'm, I'm excited to use it. So tomorrow I'll start spraying that new field or I'll spread some lime on that new field. Where'd you go? There you are. You have a lime spreader? I do. Yeah. It's right over here. Oh, you do I have got a little bit in it. Yep. But say if you need it to borrow one, I have two at the house. Yeah, I'll, I'll use that. I'll get it spread with some lime, and then I don't know. Depends on if we have a direct drill or if we want to do an anhydrous first on it. Oh, hold up. We don't need to do anhydrous first. I got liquid uh, fertilizer I can throw down. Oh, perfect. So we could do that and then use the direct drill and just plant. Yeah, so I'll, I'll throw down the spray down first so we can use the lime to know where we've been and where we haven't been. It makes our job a little bit easier when planting. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a good, that's a plan, and I think it's going to be a super profitable one too. So when's your twenty thousand due? Uh, I've already paid the first twenty. Okay, so next time around, I'll I'll, I'll help you pay that. All right, Chris, I'll see you later. Yeah. Well, actually, we're meeting up all tomorrow for lunch and breakfast, aren't we? Yeah, tomorrow's the normal day, so yeah, that makes sense. All right, I'll see you then. We need to, hey, we need, uh, I might come back later and pick up all that equipment and host poker night at my house tomorrow. Oh, okay, yeah, we could do that. All right, so I'll see y'all boys later. Stay out of trouble. All right, I'll see ya. All righty, and this is the end of the field. So now Chris said he'll come in and, of course, line the field, make it look all nice and pretty. We're done with this sprayer now for the year. I don't want to touch this sprayer. I don't want to look at this sprayer. I don't want to do nothing with this sprayer. Prayer. Um, but hopefully once everything's all said and done, we'll be able to chop this up to a nice successful year. And me and Chris is able to walk away knowing, hey, we vested our money into a decent little field. I know it's putting another field in Chris's realm, but it's also putting another field that's in my realm as well so that I can make more money. So that lets me and Chris go ahead and do that. And there goes the 20 grand out of my account, which will throw me out of the range of being able to pay my loan off, which yes, is sad, but I would rather not pay my loan off just yet and keep on working and at least have another field signed to my name for another few years than to do anything else. Which speaking of about that i'm gonna go ahead and radio alex and see if he's uh need any help over there on his farms hey alex you on the radio yes sir what's happening uh just got done spraying that one field that me and chris uh are working on together about to head back over i know you grabbed that semi truck for me earlier do you want me to grab my grain cart and let me do the grain running for you uh i did not actually grab the uh semi oh you didn't uh, i know you called the radio earlier asking for it do you want me to grab it and bring it down and i'll jump in your grain cart and help you out yeah that'd be awesome all right well i'll be on my way i gotta put the sprayer up first make sure she's all ready for the winter all righty all righty so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go ahead and jump out here grab the just told him i wasn't gonna grab the grain cart i was gonna grab my semi truck what was i thinking i need to actually put this yeah, I'll just throw this right here in front of this bay door, turn the key. You should be good right there. And I will grab one of my semi trucks. All right, Alex, you on the radio? Yes, sir. I'm on my way with my semi truck. All right, 10 four. I am unloading the uh, harvester right now. Sounds good to me. All right, there we go. Guess I'll go walking over here, find a green cart. Let's go. Not too bad. How you doing? Going good. Uh, You want me to go ahead and take this one here and quit dumping in these and dumping the semi truck? Yeah, that's what I say. I'm not even putting these in silos. I'm direct selling this. Oh, where are you selling it to? Uh down in the ethanol plant yeah then just go ahead and do me the favor then and unload the rest of that into the semi truck up here at the top of the field and when i get back i'll take over the grain cart for you all right alex so i'm unloading it now all right sweet these wagons sure take their time unloading i'll tell you that much yeah they do yeah, how much have you put in that semi truck already one full grain cart so it's about half loaded already okay and there you go. Well, say so there's definitely a lot of semi trucks up here waiting to go into here. Oh yeah, there was a pile of them up there a little while ago. Yeah, a lot of hard farmers getting their old heart crop out. At least be glad you're getting yours done already. Oh yeah, well, don't you worry none. I'll be over there helping you harvest yours. Well, I know I'm gonna need it. I've already been talking to somebody and I'm gonna end up buying myself another grain cart for corn. Man, I, you realize I'm looking at a lot of corn and two harvesters with one grain cart? <laughs> that won't go well. Well, I was about to say, and then if I bring my harvester over with my my grain cart you're gonna need all the work you're gonna get i, I just don't know man I, i've got a lot of theories on what all needs to happen this year for us to have a good year but there's your key word there is it's all theories last thing i want you know to do is all this work to be in vain at least we're giving it our fighting effort oh most definitely i'm gonna jump up into here into your Kubota. ah that's about perfect timing i know i'm always perfect what do you want from me the brakes ain't that good on that Kubota. just saying i can tell what i might do for at least my sanity is i might throw your 8410 on this so i can be sane all right i'm gonna take this unload it there real fast i'm gonna switch these tractors out how much did that take out of you 70 percent so you got 25 percent left on offer 30 okay all right there we go 
That looks better. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. I had to throw something out here in the field. I don't know what you're talking about. Nope, I wouldn't either if I was you. I'm right, leaving this here for you. You dumping it out, and then I'll be back with the semi truck. Yup, not a problem. All right, 150,000 pounds. We're doing pretty good. I'd say this field yielded a lot better than I thought it would. What's your yield map looking like? Uh, mostly green, and then some uh, greenish yellow. All right. So it, it bounces between yellow and green. So not terrible, but not you know perfect. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. I'd be lying to you if I th if I told you I thought you were gonna make your money back off this field. You didn't think Sorghum would do it? I mean, I know she ain't doing it. I mean, you've only made forty grand. How much money do you need for the rest of this year to make it a harvest? There's already enough in the account for the loan. How much do you pay a month on your loan? Twenty-two. Harvest is still two three months away, bud. Yeah, and that's only half the crop. How full are you? Fifty. I got plenty of time to unload. That's not gotta worry about rushing tea. Yeah. I'll be uh, probably coming back up by the time I load up. Yeah, so I'm trying to make sure I had time to unload it all the way before I head directly to you. 10-4. All right, I'm going to set this down here at the bottom, uh, up here at the top, bud. All right, 10-4. Yeah, because that give me enough time to go down, come back up, unload, before you get back and start again. Oh, you didn't fill it up by the time I got back. You slacking over there. I didn't have a full row coming back up. I had a row of shame. 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 Game. Hey, uh, it all didn't fit. Well, what do you want to do about that? I pulled that green one up over here, and uh, I guess I'll just finish off in it. You know, got to get the load out of them. How much is sitting in there? Uh, 125 bushel. Uh, if I was you, I'd just throw that in your band. Save it for a rainy day. You need to buy one of these trucks off of me. I'm about to sell one of my two semis. You getting another one? Yeah, well, there's a good chance at the end of this year, depending on how good harvest goes, because I ain't got no loans or nothing this year like I did last year. We might go through and just buy a brand new fleet of trucks and upgrade some equipment maybe another big field because i have a field in mind i keep looking at if we can get out of this loan by the end of the uh harvest season i'm thinking maybe we might get another field yeah but here you got an issue though your place is not truck friendly oh no uh i'm gonna have to redo some stuff in here hey yeah you want to come on in the office here and i'll get you some money yeah <laughs> what you arriving yeah. up to you want to talk about it i don't know what bry has been up to man. i can see i think i know what bry's been up to but i think he's been up to with you you want to you want to talk about it bud Bry's my brother that's kind of nasty must be from alabama ah thank you 80 grand so while i'm here do we want to talk about anhydrous yeah so those two fields over there i'll have to anhydrous i'll probably lime them before i anhydrous them i got a question right behind you what, what you gonna need for that? This is just seed. No fertilizer, nothing. Well, I'm talking like, how much longer you gonna need this for? Probably not much longer. Because I think I'm gonna get away from doing uh, sorghum and wheat and rye. I mean, this ain't a bad little rig. I mean, I know me and Chris need to borrow it at some point if y'all would be willing to let us borrow it. Oh, yeah, definitely. I will tell you, Nate, probably looking into selling this. Why? It's overkill for everything I have. Keys in her? Yeah, keys are in it. What you, what you looking at for? Uh, probably 45 grand. 45 grand. I mean, what do you think? 50? Uh, I'll, I'll keep going up. I like 45. <laughs> <laughs> Your show is going to kill me. No, it ain't. It's red. It ain't green. It's still going to kill. You realize that we just have enough money to pay our debts off, right? Like, you realize that if I buy this to, from you right now, I'm walking away with a tractor instead of paying my debts off. And I'm going to have a mad yo show. Hey, Nate, I'll tell you what. Let's strike a deal. What's your deal? Those other two fields of anhydrous, even trade. Two fields of me paying for the anhydrous? Yep. How about this? Uh, I'll give you what's left in the tank, but whatever it comes back with is whatever it comes back with full of anhydrous, but I'll give you what's ever in the tank. All right. And I'll let you have the free rental and I'll call it a fair deal. All right, we'll shake on it. All right, we'll shake on it. All right. There you go. You know, Bryce is going to love you. Oh, I know he is. He's going to hate me. All right, come on. Yep. Get me a new tractor out of this. There you go. All right, thank you, sir. I'm still in business with you. I'll see you at the farm. Oh, yeah. All right, go jump in it and let's roll. Oh, and by the way, this one's faster than the quad track. I would hope so. I was about to say, please don't tell me I just bought a slower tractor to my own quad track because the Yosha would kill me. All right, let's throw this thing back where she belongs. Hopefully, I don't have to touch this thing until my harvest. Because I'm telling everybody now, I'm not helping out any more people with harvest. So, where do you think I hide this without a Yosha finding it? Behind the harvesters. I'm just going to make it really obvious and just pretend like they've been here the entire time is what we're gonna do i'm gonna stick them side by side and i'm gonna say yeah we've always owned that tractor yeah other than the fact that it's 
currently orange. All right, let's get you back to where you belong. Yup. All right, we gotta go get that food, but I'm gonna drop you off here where you belong. Yep, I'm just gonna run back and forth real quick and get this uh, equipment back over here. Yeah, that's what I would do. Well, you know what, Ashley? Get in the truck. It's gonna be a little nice to you. All right, thank you, sir. If I was you, I'd grab that red trailer, too. Bye! See you later, thank you. Yeah, gotta make sure I'm looking dapper for the day. All righty. I know I'm excited for the day. Gotta go meet everybody. We are finally down to the last few countdowns before harvest. Like, we are almost here at the very end. We've done everything we possibly could, except, honestly, we have one field to go. And after that one field, we have to pull all of our bean, like, all of our bean headers or something like that out. We actually need to go over everything instead of running everything that's super hard like we've been doing. So we hopefully can get that figured out. Got to take my truck. Yosho and the other guy, they're both taking the day off. Since they're taking the day off, I'm going to just have fun with my day. Help out other people. I know I'm supposed to be helping out Chris later plant the field that we both are running together. And this over here here will be my main objective will be getting ready for corn harvest i'm supposed to be going to talk to happy about also getting him over here to help me out we'll see how that goes i know I, it's been a few days since i've seen the boys i'll be i'm gonna be interested what they're up to i know i saw alex the other day when we bought the case egg steiger from him and kind of just yeah hey Nate, what's going on oh same old same old trying to get ready for harvest oh yeah what's up how y'all doing Doing good. How about you? Oh, it was a long drive over from the, from the Wisconsin side. Next time we'll have to do something closer to your side. Well, I was coming over here anyway, so it was actually perfect. And oh, there's Alex and Bride. They're just pulling up. Oh yay! Who's paying today? I don't know. Better not be me again. Hey oh. Alex, what's happening? When was the last time y'all paid? Uh, when Chris got his tan? Yeah, that was uh, like a week ago now. All right, you guys, uh, take it easy on me today. I'm in the doghouse already for how much money I've been spending lately. So if we can order oh, really? off the kids' menu, maybe, or the senior menu. You know that's not how this works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alex, wait, you okay. were giving me crap about my truck earlier? Yeah, you got rid of a Cummins and you got a Hemi. No, I still have my other truck with a Cummins, isn't it? This is oh. my daily driver. This one's my daily. Dodge Ram. they all the same. Didn't I say that we need to switch over to picking on the Ford guy? Oh, uh, yeah. What's that Ford guy at? Where is it? Oh, oh, there, oh, there he is. I thought we were coming in to get, get breakfast. Hey, my truck. I was about to say, I thought we were here for breakfast. I didn't think we were here doing that. My truck's running fine and there ain't no problems with it. So like, I don't want to hear no complaining. Hey. Hey. There goes Chris. Hey. Hey. Chris, Chris, Chris get buddy. back here. What? Why? Why? It's your pay. You're paying. Yeah, so you got to go in there and pay for that. that. It wasn't that bad. It was only five hundred dollars go pay it happy do you do you have a spare bedroom <laughs> oh no I do is do you need it oh no i can kick you out maybe let me oh, oh, hold on i'll be no. right back are we sure it was 500 not 5,000? Oh, five thousand oh five it's all five, but I saw a lot of zeros too. All right, it was it was five oh two. We're we're oh. good. Um, can I harvest now? Can I harvest now? I know my crops aren't ready, but I think I need to harvest now. Do you need a lot? I think that's not how it works. I was about to say, if anything, we've got to go spend more money today, me and you, because we have to go get another planter. All right. Well, I'm gonna go home. I got to get that field sprayed with some lime, and then I'll meet up with you, and we can do that. Yeah, sounds good. I mean, it wasn't the most expensive. Thanks for taking it easy on me, guys. It could be worse. Well, to, to me, at Taco Bell the other day, I had to pay, and it was 5000 that was, was that after the medical bills from Taco Bell? <laughs> no. No, no, I, we ain't sent him the medical bills yet. The medical bills are still in the mail. Yeah. Oh, I swear. I swear, Dave. I ain't going to lie. You're going to enjoy that medical bill. Don't worry. I didn't put my insurance down, but no copay. Hey, Appy. Yeah, what's up? What you doing for us today? Uh, I've got to move some bales, get some apples sold, you know, same old, same old. You want to, if you get a little extra time, you want to come by the farm and help me get everything set up for the bean harvester? I can do that. Yep. Just let me do some stuff quick and then I'll be over there. That sounds good. I'll be over there waiting on you. All right. Hey, Nate. Yeah? When can I come over and uh, pick up a uh, tractor in, Hy in Hydra's Park? Uh, you can just come on right over. I've got to call my bank and financial, but yeah, just come on over. All righty. Looks like them boys are coming real fast. Once they come pick up this, they'll be out of my hair for a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and instantly unlock my shed. I think they're borrowing just one of the quad tracks. I don't know exactly which one they're borrowing, but I believe they're only borrowing one. So basically, what we got to do today, though, is we gotta come over here we gotta play shuffle everything around i'm hoping they don't end up taking both the quad tracks i don't think they will because we gotta pull out the green carts i do also today plan on buying a green cart that is like my number one objective today is place to order and have it here by the time we harvest oh there they are let me go talk to these people and see if we can uh, get everything figured out all right you should be good to go everything's set up by 33 percent of what i saw was in it you should be pretty much good to ready to roll have it back but when you get done and uh yeah 
Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, see you later, bud. Thank you. All righty. So, we got to play ring around the rosy with equipment now. So, we got this here. We're able to take this out, and we're going to park this over here out of the way. But basically, our number one objective will be pulling out all the equipment, make sure everything looks all nice and pretty out of the way, so we can get the combines out and thrown in here. And we also need to get out all this other equipment that's in here, so we're out of the way. So, let me get this out real fast, and we'll go ahead and show y'all the process of getting everything else done. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I just want y'all to actually know we actually actually do cut the grass in between videos i've been cutting it keeping it maintained so it looks all nice and pretty i, I just want that recognized like this grass just isn't staying like that it does grow back over time as you see throughout the videos i just end up cutting it so that's our first harvester at least inside the bent inside of here so we can go ahead and start getting worked on that we got to get the john deere pulled into there which means i doubt this one actually will fit in there because of the grain extension hold up we may have that issue well we can fit one harvester in here but we don't fit the other one so what we're going to do then is we're going to do this still fashion way and that is just pretty much do everything outside so what i'm going to do is i'm going to park this right here just so we can look over her at least and make sure she's all ready to go but that also leaves a bay for me to pull in my older green cart so i can at least get that looked over and make sure she's ready to rock and roll for the year as well because i do plan on talking to my lender here in a little bit possibly getting a hundred and fifty thousand dollar loan as we've paid off most of our loan already so i don't see why not going to get myself a new semi truck trailer so i can at least be able to haul stuff a little more efficiently and finally get another grain cart well, i will have two grain carts running in the field this year hopefully with two grain carts running in the field i should keep up good enough to where i don't absolutely mandatorily need them so we'll shut that off here but now we just got to go through everything i'm gonna go ahead and actually pull all the trailers around make sure we get all that looked at it's pretty much just reshuffling everything actually you know i'm gonna sit here real fast let me call my bank and find out what everything's going to end up being this is what i'm looking at right here payment will pay with interest we'll pay one hundred and eighty four thousand dollars with interest a monthly payment would be five thousand one hundred and ninety five dollars per month so that's not the worst loan in the world and it's also a three-year loan we'll pay it off within the harvest but i definitely think this is necessary so we can go ahead and start going online getting in our house and ordering our custom green cart now these two headers right here are two interesting headers we have not been able to use these yet so we really need to get these out and actually unfold them what i'm going to do with this john deere is actually use it to unfold this header at least get this header off and fold it look at her or look her over so that we don't have to take the other one out now we are not going to calibrate the john deere to this header we're going to calibrate the john deere to the small to the john deere header so that it makes our lives easier so we'll be able to go through this one right here check her out make sure there's not really a whole lot wrong with her we'll actually leave that right there and we'll pull this out next because this is definitely the big girl we have to use this one right here for our beans and helping out other people and it's had a lot lot of acres thrown to through her so i want to make sure we get her at least completely looked over and replace those front blades just to make sure she's ready and is able to cut to the best shape she can and this right here is our john deere corn header so this one has like interesting reels and it helps feed the corn through it better and more efficiency and there we go which puts us right where we need to be we can now start going through each and every one of these now sickles place those sickles make sure we wash these headers up go through them completely top to bottom on top of that we need to go through our combines top to bottom over here we need to go through the gathering chains which as you can see are prompted right here for me to go through but before we do all that let's go inside and go order ourselves a new grain cart all right so we're going with this right here it's a simple trailer it's only sixty thousand dollars in total and it holds 1555 bushels simple as can be we need another one i'm gonna have this delivered so we're gonna hit it and hit order so we've now ordered that and by the way this is the catalog i'm looking at right now so these are all the grain carts i was looking at some last time but after talking with the family and being able to design the one i wanted it just had to go with this one so this right here is what we're going with is we're going with an american theme demco grain cart no oversized we're putting the chains up front and we are changing the color to blue this right here i'm gonna go ahead and place the order to it right now all right so we got that ordered now we now have that on the way but there's also something else we need in this catalog so there's an old farmer who's been telling me about these things for many years now and i just really want to get one so i'm going to buy this right here this is a drive over conveyor and we'll end up pairing it with our current conveyor system so there goes a hundred and twenty thousand dollars including what we spent on the semi-truck trailer which is another bit of good money but 
think I'm supposed to be getting a call here from Chris any minute. And but while I'm waiting for that, I'm actually gonna head back over here and get to work on these. All those things will be delivered hopefully later today. This is what I'm hoping for, or later like next month ish, just so we can get everything ran through in time. I'm gonna go ahead and start running through the combines and just waiting for the call. Oh, I hear you over there. You ready to do this? Yeah, I'm born ready. I got the I got the lime put down. I'm down a little bit of cash for that, but that's okay. Well, I did the spraying. Trust me, I'm down cash from that. I know. I'm ready to get some seed in the ground so we can see our potential profit start to grow. Shouldn't be that bad. And then I'll spray for weeds when the weeds start growing. I'll go get Alex's and Bry's cedar from them. Okay. I'll head over to the field and start getting this uh this cedar all prepped for that. Okay, sounds good. All right, see you in a few. See you in a little bit. Hey, Alex, I'm letting you know I'm on the way for that cedar that, for, that we negotiated on the other day. All right, 10-4. All right, I'll come pick it up and uh, bring it back when we get done. All righty. All right, make sure we get the hoses connected. There we go. How's it going, bud? Oh, not too bad. How you doing, Nate? Getting a cedar. I'm going to take it out there with the John Deere right now. Maybe a little bit overkill, but the one thing that I got that's free or that's not have a bunch of equipment in front of it. So I got to go knock out that field with Chris. And you said this right here would be about three grand, right? For the rent for the day? Yeah. And there's probably about $1,500 worth of seed in it right now. Well, I'll, I'll re put the seed back in it because I can't use the same seed. I can't put beans down right now. But I think that's what the monitor said it was set to before I got out. So I'll replace the seed or something like that. I'll just take it out and put it back in there. So I'll just bring you the third grand when I get back. All right. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. You too. Hey Chris, I don't know about you, but I love these road gear modes on these newer John Deere's. Yeah? I'm going 58 miles an hour. Oh, jeez. Even in my case, I can only go 32 in this Magnum. Well, I can go 58 in this newer John Deere. Well, you be careful on this road leading up to here. There's come some crazy bumps in it. Ask the apple orchard person. What do you want from him? You don't know how to maintain a road. Last I checked, that was his titty's job, not mine, but... Okay. How'd you end up on the same radio frequency? I'm right behind you, pretty much, but you just sped way away from me. All right, I've already got the thing switched over to barley like we need it to be. All right. Am I lowered? Am I lowered? There we go. All right. I think barley's going in the ground. I think you're going too fast. Uh, 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 all right, there we go. Nine miles an hour. That should be a good speed. Yeah, I'm actually going to do you a favor. You going to let me get a little ahead? Yep. All right, Chris. I'm lapping up the last little bit right now. Yeah, I'm over here just uh, taking a break, watching you finish. Yep. Hey, I'm just letting you know there's no capacity for apples. Yeah, I think this entire world has enough apples at this point. I think it does too. I cannot lie and say I wouldn't be mad if the subdivision bought Happy Out first. Do you want to, um, while you have some spare time, help me plant a really tiny grass field real quick? Yeah. You got the seeds over there so we can switch the seeds over? Yeah, we had a nice little tray over here. I'll, I'll show you. All right. I don't know what you're doing. I was warming up my tires. I was about to say, I bet your wife would love to know you're doing that right now. Oh, 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 don't, don't mind those. She put those there. Go ahead and fill up this grass seed there. Might have to get more. I don't know. I put, uh, 20, yeah, 20, 28% in me. That should be enough, I would think. Yeah. Well, that was another good job done. I know we're fast at this job. Yeah, I'm uh, excited to uh, get this back same day. I was worried I was going to get another day worth of, of a rental on it. Same here. I'm going to go return this to Alex. I'm going to let him have it back, and I got to pay him three grand for renting this out. Oh, three grand? Yeah. I'm going to spray this one down to make sure I don't get any extra fees for coming back dirty. Oh, he's getting it as is. Ah, yeah. He's not the dealership, though, so he'll be fine with it. You already agreed on a price, but I think, you know, they told me, you know, they'll pretty much double it if I don't clean it. It is what it is. I'm going to take this back to them. And I guess, what are you about to start doing? Um, I got nothing. You want to come by my farm and help me uh, replace some chopping blades on some headers and get ready for some good old fashioned harvest? Yeah, maybe I can learn something. I got a, I got a new harvester that I haven't used yet. I'm excited to use that. All right, buddy. She's back. She's filled with seed. I mean, she has your seed in it still. All right, sweet. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to head back. I'm going to get everything ready to rock and roll. I just placed an order earlier for a new grain car, a new semi truck trailer and a way to be able to unload my beans very efficiently and my corn. So I'm going to go wait for those deliveries. I think Chris is going to come help me uh, set up the harvesters, get them ready to roll. So when beans are ready, we're able to just do them done. All right. 10 four. How much longer are y'all going to have before y'all are done? Uh, we're just going to get the anhydrosing finishing or finished. Other than that, I was going to try to sell a load of oats and a load of canola just to, you know, obviously ensure the bank account just a little bit. Other than that, uh, that's pretty much all we've got going on well all right we'll head on out all right hey nate you on a radio always am hey uh we're pretty much done if y'all uh, are done just take it back to my farm and uh drop it off where you got from and make sure she's good to go all right yeah we're just probably gonna wash everything first i, I don't appreciate like that because i can't get to my pressure washer anyway right now all right yeah we'll pressure wash it and bring it on down i'll have rye follow me down sounds good see you when you get here
Look at this guy. What's that? What's oh. what? I mean, it's a nice tractor. I'll give it that. I think we know oh, who yeah. the rich guy in town is. Yeah, I just bought it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just, you said you needed to help with your combines and stuff. So I thought I'd stop by on my way back. I'll just make sure because I know I'll order some stuff. I've seen this somewhere before. Oh, look at that. What the heck? I think I've seen this tractor before. You've got the ugly weights and the duels. I don't. That right? gives me more traction in the ground. Okay. Since I got some people here, I can actually help me. We got to get these over here. These headers need to be going through. I've replaced some of the feeding chains on this header. The gray header over there, that one's ready to rock and roll. We need to replace some sickles on this one. I was going to say, you need some sickles over here. Yeah, that one needs to be replaced. This one has already been replaced. I replaced art sickles on that one over there because of that one field we went through where Bryce field had nothing but rocks oh that's oh yeah because you weren't here for that i wasn't do you have any of those sickle sections like somewhere that i can get started on that or yes the inside the shed back there um, we have everything else we have to get done actually i've got to go through this combine back here still i'm gonna let y'all work on those over there i've been through the grain cart i think bra and alex first we come back my other tractor when it gets back i'm gonna start getting that prepared for the new grain cart that's coming. Yep, gotcha. We gotta have fun. Yep, I'll grab these sickle sections here. Right, let's get to work, boys. All right. Ah, good morning, everybody. I know I am freezing this morning. You gotta get me a good cup of joe. Today is the start of harvest. It is November 2nd. We've all been working our tails off for this very moment. We are finally able to take the fruits of our labor. On top of that, there is something very special being delivered later today, or in a little bit, actually. So we gotta take our little time getting to the other side of the shed, which I'm starting to wish I would have put the other side of the shed on this side, but it does make it convenient for me just to walk in here to my actual office and do my business and walk directly in here to my main work area which i think one of the guys have been already working earlier but we got to go ahead and get everything out of the way i know this thing is showing up here today i've already got the uh, soon to be delivered tag affirm the delivery so they should be here soon and i gotta have this over here warmed up and ready to rock and roll when it does show up so we have also decided what we are harvesting first surprise surprise beans we are doing the beans first so i'm gonna worry about make sure the beans header is hooked up and ready to roll so we got a backup on in here there we go so that's that hooked up and ready to rock and roll i'm actually going to hmm, when he turns into here he should turn directly right here but so we're going to actually do a quick yui not too fast on one but fast enough to where we can get everything out of the way but i'm going to end up once i get this over here stop for a second call alex see if alex and bri before they get into their own stuff want to come help me out today since it's the start of harvest none of us want to meet up and interrupt harvest Hello. Hey, Alex. Hey, what's happening? I need a favor. You need the winning lottery numbers? Because I ain't got that for you, buddy. I wish I did. Trust me, I did. I wish I had them as well. <laughs> um, But no, 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 no. So you know how I've been helping you with all y'all's harvest and everything like that for the last few weeks. I mean, last few months, actually. Make sure y'all got everything done. Today, I don't have Yosho nor Hazard. They're both out doing something else. And I need two individuals to come help me out with my harvest just to at least get started with until one of them comes back. So I can have my whole operation rolling instead of just one truck and one uh harvester all right nate buckle your britches we're on our way all right sounds good to me i'm getting everything pulled out ready to rock and roll i know i'm supposed to be getting a delivery here pretty soon but once i get the delivery then we can head out to the field all right, all right see y'all when you get here so nate do we have a green card operator not yet so we don't have a green card operator yet i had somebody else i was gonna call to do that because we're doing beans first it shouldn't be that hard to get stuff started with beans i'm also waiting for my brand new green card to arrive before we start rolling <laughs> Get the old girl started up. This is her moment to shine. Probably some old piece of junk, I bet. Oh, wow. He coming out here with an old taste. Uh, an old piece of junk, of course. All right. So which one y'all think we should set up first? Uh, let's do this one out here on the end. Make it quick and simple. This one right here? Yup. All right. I want to start raising it a bit more. I know. All right, so now once the grain cart gets here, all we got to do uh, is set the end of it the way that this piece is coming in. It, what it'll do is it'll sit right here on the ground and have a little hangover right here, and it will just automatically unload until you'll just pull the semis over, unload, and go. I seen somebody use one of those one time on YouTube. I swear I thought that was the coolest thing I ever seen. I'm glad you got one so I can see one work IRL. You know them things are 22 grand? But they're worth it. They might be worth it. That's $22,000. And, for, hey, my phone just said that he just left the dealership with the item, so he should be here pretty soon so let's go wait up front you said this is happy driving yeah. yeah yeah it's gonna be another two hours yeah pretty much listen i can hope it's not okay let me enjoy myself stop believing in happy 
Hello? Hey, Blake. What you doing today? Not a whole lot. You want to come run a grain cart or run a combine or something? Sure, I can help out. Uh, I'd appreciate that. We got a new grain cart coming in, so I'll probably end up using that for a little bit, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to have another guy here to help out, at least run trucks or something. Yeah, I can run trucks. All right. I appreciate it, bud. <laughs> he ain't making that. There's no way he makes that. Bro, he's jackknifed. It's not that he's jackknifed. It's cutting it close, though. He really needs to ride that one side over there. He's actually making it, boys. Look at that. Oh, now I see how this man did not do this did he really i got a question for you what's your question how do you expect me to get this off of here i mean we got like 40 guys over here right we can just pick it up and lift it off right or you got a skid loader right yeah i got a skid loader i must say mighty impressive load you got there happy yeah thank you thank you i still want to know how you made that dot proved illegal nobody saw it there was I no mean, cops no nothing there, we made there, it. there is an oversized load sign over here there is yep see the flags on the back the oversized load yep we're good all right let's get this off of here go drop this off over here and then we'll worry about getting that other Okay. All righty. I'm surprised those two still work with you after the way you treat them. Yeah, where is your other helping hand? I haven't seen him around in a while. You know, because of the way I treat them, I have to give them a lot of vacation. Ah. Uh -huh. Plus, they both get paid extension. They get paid really too well. So that's why they haven't quit. How is it that every time it's busy season come up, they're gone? Because they have unlimited PTO. Starting to regret that decision. That was a very bad idea. I don't want to hear that. Nate, not going to lie, right. my old tractor looks pretty good with these big old fat tires on her. I know. I had to pay four grand for them. Now, what I want to see is I want see this grain cart i've been waiting so long for this thing this thing is huge this thing don't scream america i don't know what does happy you helping yeah sure i have nothing else to do all right so we gotta knock out basically beans 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 let's start on 19 let's go farthest and come closest okay so we'll head up there i'm taking the john deere up front to start with i'll take the new holland i got the challenger and i'll take the truck please tell me hat bride did not just call that a new holland the yellow i automatically send is a new holland the challenger get it right uh happy you want to drive grain cart I'd rather drive semis, but I think somebody already called. Uh, yeah, well, you and Alex, you and Alex can both jump in semi trucks then, and Blake can jump into the grain cart. And we're in the semi. Hold on, how many people do I have here? Hey, oh, yeah, you said Alex twice. Hold on, okay, let me rephrase it. Right wherever I told Alex to go last time. Basically, just get a piece of equipment where you are. You are done trying to organize this. Alex, drive slow because that one doesn't really reach all the way down to the ground. There we go. Blow those off. I'm gonna let you get hooked up to your header first before I come in. Actually, I can go up and go wider. Yeah, I would. So, depending on where y'all want to sit, boys, if y'all want to sit in the actual field itself or sit over here or sit over in the road, it's up to you. Just make sure you turn around up top and leave me enough room to get right past. Yep, it should be good. Here we go. Okay, so 102. That ain't terrible looking. I'm getting 113 over on this side. Yeah, you're also in the headlands. Our issue is I don't like being in the headlands getting this. I'd rather be in the core of the field. These get more of the heat escape, and they also get more of sunlight. Because all this stuff is going straight to the bin. Yes, everything is going directly into the bin. Bra should be able to fill up one person whenever he goes and dumps. Because he has a 1,300 bushel grain cart now. You want to finish this up down here, or you want me to? Uh, I'm going to finish up this little uh, water droplet. Oh, I didn't no, you were right behind me. Yeah. I thought you were still in the main field. No, I switched directions and gave them two passes right there at the entrance of the field for if the semi trust wanted to get off the road or not. If they grab the second trailer and start dropping trailers, they might need it. Hey, Nate, you got your ears on? Yep. Hey, I'm going to uh, start bouncing and racetracking this side over here. All right, sounds good. Brian, come to a stop, come to a stop, come to a stop. I've got 11% left in the tank. All right. And that don't even crash the surface. Nope. How full are you? 11%. How many bushels can that thing hold? Hey. A lot. 200,000, I want to say. Really? Uh, or actually, wait a minute. 5,675.6, I think that is, actually. Hey, what are you at? 44. Okay. Yeah, just go ahead and go and load it real fast and throw it in our good old truck. Yeah, happy your truck might be ready to go after this. Alrighty. How many loads have we done so far? Just Blake's. Never mind, happy you're still good. How far? It's at 84%. How much of this field have we done? Oh, everything. But then we'll drop down to field 17, which Bri is a green car driver. You'll love it. Why? Why? because it's a drive yeah all right empty you out before the next load yep uh blake you drove a load over there earlier didn't you yep how the new system work working perfectly fine working fine good to hear good to hear and we are done with these bean fields over here pull right behind you up here and i'll let brian unload in i'll unload brian first then you can yes sir alex so thank for our sanity let's just get i know happy said he had a buddy come pick him up what uh mean you do just leave these out here in the field and worry about them later all right let a lunch break lunch break i'm ready to go to bed i worked all morning yeah but you're old also 
also, so. Hey, no. Watch it. Well, for Happy's truck, I'm gonna just put it in the field. Is what I'm gonna do. I don't see the point in not putting it in the field. And we'll take the other two. Mm, do we even need to take the other truck home? You got anything left in your tank? Nope, that's it. Yeah, we'll leave everything else out here in the field. So that Challenger hold up for you. That Challenger held up pretty good. Good to hear. I think the next few fields will be a lot easier to do. Especially for, like, just me and Yosho to say. Because I don't see that being too hard for him to keep up. Especially with if we get that other kid to come out here and run the other one. Who, Hazard? Uh, well, I, think, I don't know. I, what I've heard is there's, I've heard rumors of him wanting to quit. So he may finally quit. And if he quits, I'm going to hire one of the local neighbors. I'm probably going to run a combine. Oh, I got you. Probably going to run this because it's the last year I'm going to have it anyway. Starting to slowly dislike this combine as much as we get her. Not a bad running harvester. It's just it's not bad running, but it's not great running. Kind of like my gleaner over there. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Kind of intermediate. Exactly. I think Blake said he should be here in a little bit. And there's Bri. Yeah. We'll just wait around for Blake to get here, and then we'll all go home. Go home. Go to bed. Exactly. Go home. Bed. I mean, we got a lot of stuff knocked out. We got two good sized fields knocked out. Be curious what they're worth. Actually, you know what? Those bins have a sensor on the floor. I can tell you what they're worth. I'm gonna take a guess. Thirty grand. I'm going to guess around 57 both of y'all wrong by a mile uh 100 grand 150 i'm bad so we may make our money back off the beans alone <laughs> not counting the wagon you bought or the is that including i ain't even touched that money uh we'll, we'll break even on the wagon okay well i think boys we're good to go and we'll come back for those harvesters later yep. oh, yeah alex hurry up get there so we can drop these two off i'm ready to go home and go to bed uh, how fast do you want me to drive um yeah i was about to offer to go buy everybody's steak or something but okay yeah okay, let's go for the steak instead where are we going we're gonna go to red robin yeah that's Apple what Beach? i was thinking yeah, okay Beach. sorry i was thinking applebee's okay let's go oh Silly, you're finally awake. I've been sitting on the porch watching the deer out there with a cup of coffee. I've been awake all morning. I've just been sitting here watching the news. Well, you weren't here when I came down. What does that tell you? Well, can't help you. You're up all morning. All right, let's get rolling. We got to go meet everybody else for breakfast real fast. I think we got to go to Wisconsin. We're late. Oh, boy. Yep. Let's do this. All right. See you there, bud. All right. Remember, the last person there pays. All I got is the company card. No, you don't. Use your own paycheck. It's like the handicap spot again. Oh, you guys. Oh, and now Yosho is taking the handicap spot. The two oldest guys here deserve the handicap spot. Hold up. Nope. I see another place apart. Oh, God. Oh, is he moving his truck? Oh, jeez. Yeah, get out of the way, guys. <laughs> Watch out. Oh, I oh. knew it. Oh, there you go. Oh, he's actually. All right. That was, that was decent. Yeah, no. Now, Yosha can stay there. We all know he's 60 years old. We're good. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who, who designed this parking lot to have the handicap spots in the middle and not closer yeah. to the pipes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, no one did that. All right. So, Blake, right, you ready to pay? We're getting tans and sandwiches. I think Chris's suspension broke over here. Yeah, it's it can wonky. be, I guess. It looks like it. What happened it to does. your truck, Chris? Hey, you know, that's just what happens when you don't maintain your things, you know? <laughs> Bro, did he take your mom for a visit? I mean, <laughs> no, that's no, that's all I say. <laughs> no, it's time to no, go man. He took your lover yeah. with. Let's go get some food. All right, boys. I don't know about y'all, but that tasted good. Oh, yeah. yeah it was yeah. all right. I guess I'm ready to go to work now. I'm oh, yeah. You still got harvest to do, don't you? Yeah. ton of it to do, actually. You know, uh, how can you tell if a Pokemon across the room thinks you're cute? Uh, uh, um, he keeps trying <laughs> to peek at you. Oh, my gosh. Man, really? Man, really? Man, really? Really? Um, <laughs> no, no. 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 If anybody needs some uh, work, uh, I come to my farm. I'm firing Yosho after that one. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> I would not blame you one bit. Good morning, boss. Hey, guys. What we got on the agenda today, boss? Well, soybeans. Tons and tons of soybeans. We got some more soybean fields we got to get, which you weren't here for. We knocked out the two big fields up north. So now we need to bring our harvesters down to the south to start knocking out the soybeans in the south. All right. How about the corn? Y'all harvest the corn already? Not nope. up there. Well, what we're doing is we're knocking out all soybeans first because the corn is a little bit wetter than I want it to be. So we're knocking out all soybeans first, and then we're going to go back and do the corn later. All right. So I guess we'll just do that. Um, do y'all boys want to jump in Alice's truck and I take the semi truck back up there? Yeah. Hey, hey bro, you want to put your truck over where it's not in the middle of the driveway? Same in the driveway. Is the harvesters out there already? Yeah. The harvesters are out in the field. We got to go get the harvesters from the field and bring them to the next field oh i am not the smartest person in the world we know this no i just really messed up What's i that? should have dropped the trailer instead of bringing the trailer because we gotta take this truck and trailer back all right well i'm gonna go ahead and pull over here to these harvesters so we can get, start getting them filled up yeah let's get everything filled up with diesel and then we got to put these on the header trailers which is across the road who's doing what basically you choose what you want to do if you want to harvest get an harvester if you want to be a grain cart driver get in the grain car if you want to do truck get in truck all right there we go she's good to go let's fire 
fire up. I guess I'll harvest. Where's the trailer at? Across the road. Yeah, it's right behind me. Yeah, I'm just filling up the case right now. I'll just take the truck over there then. Well, somebody needs to take the pickup truck so we can come back over here and get the uh, last two things. So when we leave, we need to come back and at least get the other trailer and the other truck. Basically, the best way to say it is someone needs to take Alice's truck. All right. Bro, are you taking it or you want me to take it? I got it. Which field are we going to? We're going to field 33. Now, there we go. Hey, Yosha, you want to talk about you going in the wrong direction again? Yeah, I am, ain't I? Bro, if you want to, you can just take one of those. You can take both those trucks back to the house. Or you can take one truck to the house and take the other trailer to the house. Just drop them there. Because you should only need one truck and trailer for the day. All righty. Yeah, is it soybeans? Takes a little bit to fill up the trailers. I mean, we're yielding pretty good. We're yielding 107 bushels to the acre. So we're not yielding terrible. We really need to make me another field, like an entrance to that field from this field right here. Just so I don't have to drive on the roads just to get to that field. Hey, yo, sure. That's a winter project right there. We need to build a road. Okay. From one field to another field. Nate, you on the radio? Yes, I am. I uh, just got done unloading your show. What you looking like? I'm looking like a nine, almost 90%, but I'm also trying to round the field off. Anybody heard from Brian a little bit? He should be bringing over that last semi truck here in a little bit. Brian's ain't already over here. Maybe he got lost. Possibly. It's Brian. That's very possible. Is there a spire I can park this truck? In the field? Or you park it on the road? Because I know the field is a little bit wetter than I would like it to be for that semi truck. That's why I don't want to go on the field. Okay, then park it on the road. All right, Yosho. I'm going to knock out one more pass with you. Well, I'm going to knock out the rest of this, like go around one more time, and I'm going to leave this field up to you. Then I'm going to jump down to 32. Sounds like a plan. I got to give it to this field. This field's actually yielding better than I thought it was. If we go ahead and put lime on it this year and put some more nitrogen down, this will be some perfect corn ground right here. May not be legal, but we're going to try it. Cop. I don't see no cop. <laughs> it made you look, though. Well, I mean, it's not 100% legal, but it's not illegal. Because, I mean, it will still, I'm right here next to my field. I doubt there's going to be a cop that expects me to load up my entire harvester, like the header, if I'm not, just to go on the road for a few feet. Ooh, now this is good. We're looking at dark, dark green over here, Yosho. Oh. Awesome. But still only young, 107 bushels. Whoa, okay, buddy. Holy shnikey. Did he have got any closer? I did a really good job stacking those bales. Almost a little too good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they had someone else do that for them. I don't know. Man, who drove in the field up here? Oh, wait, that's when Blake wrecked it, wasn't it? You know, there's a lot of people who wreck in my fields. And it's only my fields. Don't worry, we had Yosho wrecking ours. <laughs> yeah, Yosho wrecked in ours. Yosho! <laughs> that was day one, don't you remember? But did you wreck in your crop? Did we have any crop at the time? Yeah, it was in stage two of growth. That's when they came and told you about my driving. Yeah, I remember now. We're at 107 bushels right now, and we're in a bright yellow. I don't understand. Maybe 107 bushels is the max that app can read. It's not the max. It would go lower than that. I know, I've seen it go lower than that. Trust me, I remember harvesting your fields. Wow. Wow. Boo. What is true? We only had one field to yield bad. Exactly, and it was yielding in the 90s, bud. That was a field we bought, and we didn't have anything to do. I know that, but I'm saying that's why I know this day can go lower because I've seen it go in the 90s. You didn't have to bring that up. Ain't get mad at me because y'all bought a bad field. No, 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 no. I want it to be known. Alex bought that. Yeah, well, my bad. Yeah, Alex bought a field that he cannot pay back. We'll say, yo, show us sad how fast all of our hard work just pretty much goes in the header, comes out the back. Isn't that kind of what we want to happen? Yeah, but it doesn't look the best. It's all our hard work finally come to tuition, but it comes out so fast. I mean, the faster it gets done, the less fuel we use and the less money that it costs. I'm supposed to enjoy this, okay? Let me enjoy my time. Okay, sorry. And drum roll, please. We are done with soybeans. Man, look at them. They go, they still getting these perfect loads loaded up. Do you see that? Yeah, they definitely have someone over there doing that for them. It's almost like they're using an auto load. I wish we had that in real life. Yeah, right. Well, we do have them in real life. It's just a different type of auto load than they're using. Where's corn header at? Right on the other side. Let's take everything and at least wash our thing off. We have to switch our settings over to corn. Get the fan speed put up. Working at the car wash. Yeah. No, God. <laughs> no. No. Wait, have you seen the other tractor I bought as well? No. Come on, we'll be quiet. Yeah, sure. You realize there's two of those Steigers now, right? No. New green car, new Steiger. I wasn't here. That's what happens when you go on vacation. Hey, you left me with the pocketbook. <laughs> it was never mine to have to be... Really? <laughs> 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 I'll let you wash it then. I'm washing mine. I'll let you wash your own. All right, so I'm going to put that other bean header over here and a corn header over here. There's one corn header I got. Yeah, the other corn header is right over here. All right, get that switched. There to corn. Got to touch the yield monitor a little bit. Got to up the sieves. All right, I think I'm good to go for this. I don't really think there's anybody else, anything else to do today.
Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I need my coffee up there. Went outside, did me a little bit of exercise this morning, which today is supposed to be a really good day because we are finally finishing harvest today. And yo, show, I'll meet you at Del Taco. We're supposed to be getting breakfast tacos again. Thank God it's not Taco Bell. So we're supposed to be going down there to go pick up some tacos. Yo, show's back in town after spending some time with his girlfriend. I'm going to go ahead and head down to Del Taco and kind of get everything going. But, ladies and gentlemen, while I go ahead and go over there, if y'all like this series and want to see more of it, please hit the like button and subscribe. Do what you do best. But with no further ado, let's get on to Del Taco. Good morning, boys. How y'all doing? About time you get here. Yeah, I was going to say, I've been here for an hour now. Well, no one told you to wake up earlier than the birds, okay? Well, that we're farmers, right? That's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, but the corn don't dry off or the beans don't dry out until later in the afternoon anyway. So what's the point? You do uh, morning services on your equipment to get it, make sure it's ready. Ready by the time the corn is ready, last I checked. Or you do it before you leave the field at night so that you can sleep in a few extra hours. So at 2 a.m. when you're done harvesting, you maintenance equipment? Oh, yes. You spend one hour maintenance and you're good to go for the rest of the day. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go eat. Whose turn is it paying? Not it. Oh. I think it's gone in fries. I thought it was Chris's. No, I think it's no, gone Chris in fries. Yeah, yeah, we'll let y'all pay. I think it was my turn to pay, so I'll let y'all pay. Oh, so Nate's next, okay. Oh, no, you're the one paying. You're good. Seven hundred fifty dollars for breakfast. That ain't bad this morning. That's it. There was only five of us. There used to be ten of us. I don't know what's going on here. One of the city boys I heard left town. The other one I don't know what's going on with him. Well, I know I know Hazard quit. I know the co-op guy. He had to go out of town for a little bit. And I know the guy he was working with. He decided he wanted just to just leave the farm all together. And the guy across the river. We don't know. We ain't heard anything from him in years. I mean weeks. Where's Yosho at? Uh, Yosho is at the house. I'm guessing he's still sleeping. You don't wake him up? He's a grown adult. I mean, I'm sure Nate doesn't pay him to be an alarm clock, so. How about I say? That last time I checked, he's a grown adult, and if he's late, I just get to take money off his paycheck. So what's everybody got going on today? Lots of harvest. Uh, harvest. Harvesting two fields, hopefully getting a cultivator. The two cultivators continue rolling, and that's it. I've been so busy with my harvest. What does an apple orchard do to harvest? That's what I'm harvest? trying to figure out. You pick the apples off the ground? Not off the ground. In that secret recipe, you use the apples that have the worms in them or something like that? The more, like, squishy apples? Uh, we don't personally, but if that's the style you like, you're more than welcome to come out. We got tons of apples on the ground. Well, me and Alex got everything done, so Alex, who do you want to help today? Uh, whoever pays better. I've got a $2 million loan, so I can't pay anything. I'm $2 million? million? Huh? I was going to say, I'm not paying anything either. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not paying either, so I don't know where they say who pays best. I mean, I'll pay you free 99 That's about it. I have free 99 Free 99 <laughs> I'll give you for this guy. How about a crisp high five? That's all you'll get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chris, you want to talk about what? it? What? <laughs> What, what's there? What's there to talk about? I was sitting at a red light, <laughs> literally sitting at a red light. Hey, there you go. There you go. go. There it is. Good job. <laughs> what the heck the is going on? Stupidest mechanic this? ever added to a map ever. <laughs> what the heck? Well, looks like this morning I'm the only one here so far. Looks like Yosho's still asleep. Get her started up. Turn it on. Turn that flip flip that. There we go. Let her get preheated up this morning. Is this definitely getting cold? I, I mean, I can definitely tell it's getting cold by a mile out. Go ahead and just take a couple quick looks at this. I think she's looking good. I think we can go ahead and just take her on into the field. Um, Since, of course, it's just me by myself right now, that means I'm going to be harvesting all by myself for a little bit. Yosho should be back eventually when he does get back. I will probably throw him in a harvester just to at least continue harvesting or maybe send him to go get one of the cultivators. I do know we finished up cultivation on that one field yesterday, which hopefully will lead us where we need to be. Now we're just getting on this nice little road right here, going up and down the rows. I think Chris said he, or uh, I think Chris should be here in a little bit. I don't know exactly when he'll get here. It does allow we're yielding actually a little bit greener today, which is what I need to see to be able to turn out a profit, but I don't know. I definitely think we should have ourselves a pretty successful day to run off the harvest season. So this is pretty much what our day is going to look like right here. If Yosho don't show up and show up soon, we're going to be looking like this right here for most of our day. 
Yellow. Hey, buddy. I need a favor. Uh-oh. I, I do need y'all to come down here and help me. Uh, Yosho hasn't showed up for work yet. He's not feeling too well right now or something. I, I need some people to come help me out because I can't make it an up and down pass without filling up before the end of the pass. It's just killing my productivity. All right. Uh, we're currently loading these oats up to get them out of this bin because I'm getting ready to have these bins removed or at least two out of three of them to put in a higher tech bin. But uh, as soon as we get done, with this uh we'll be over all right sounds good where's everybody at the field where you should have been five hours ago hold up D five? is that yosha coming over the radio is he finally out of bed i don't want to hear it stayed up too late on that computer no it, it wasn't the computer's fault i was playing farm sim all right leave me alone listen you do that for a living why do you keep playing that game I don't know. There's just something about it. So where do you need me? Uh, running some my trucks right now. Somebody come give me a lift or do I have to walk? You gotta walk. 231.2 is what it's reading on my, on the uh, John Deere over here. On the challenge, I was reading 233. Hey, Nate. Yeah. Um, your bin's full. Switch it to the next one. All right. I'm gonna let y'all boys stay here. I'm gonna go to my truck and go talk to you, Chris. Oh, there he is. Hey, Nate, what's happening? Well, I heard rumors that you bought yourself a grain dryer. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure I got enough clearance for this auger to unload it because mine's about done. I think I got another couple hours and it'll be done drying. So I got a question. I hold my stuff over here and use my own augers. Can uh, I borrow your grain dryer? What's in it for me? What do you want? Cash? What? You know, I'm getting ready to start tillage and last year I, you know, I used my cultivator and then I had to spray. And I know you got those in hydro setups. Yeah, one and a half. You have one and a half? Yeah. I rent the uh, tanks. Oh, Okay, so you have the the tool toolbar, but you have to, you rent the tanks. Yeah, because the so, tanks you have to keep like so much of a spec on them. You have to keep them maintained. Earth like that. It's just easier to rent the tanks. I do have a pair of tanks with me, and you only need one tank, right? Yeah, it would just yeah, it would just be me. Yeah, so and my fields aren't that big, so I could get it done probably in a day or two. Here's a question: Do you have a tractor big enough to pull the toolbar though? I think my Magnum should be able to. Mmm, no, it's not. It's only like 340 horsepower. I'll let you take one of the stigers Ooh, okay and then yeah and then I, I this this isn't one of the biggest dryers but i believe it holds about two thousand bushels at once so you would have to do a lot of work that if you reach. have an auger that could sit on the top and you have this auger running you could have it running non-stop probably so this is where i have a benefit i have like four or five augers yeah that are like really long so what i'll do is i'll just run one really big auger going out this way and one auger going back over to the top of it yeah so you could have it going in as it dries it could unload to another trailer yeah and then what i'm going to do is i'll bring my uh, pullover like all i gotta do is just bring my semi trucks and pull it over how many small tractors do you have i have the alice chalmers and i have a john deere so i have two smaller ones and then i also have this international that basically is a its job is basically to run this auger so i'll need this <laughs> okay i will definitely need this tractor right here and i guess i can bring two from home it just makes my job a little easier so we'll just do that i guess and uh it allows me to at least get my corn dried because i know it's worth more and i really just don't feel like spending 50 something thousand dollars on a grain dryer i don't blame you i spent 50 on mine and i'm hoping to make almost the money back this year i figured by next year i'll make my money back on that but yeah All no right. what i'm planning on doing is i'm planning to get one of my bins set up as like an actual dryer so they're gonna hook like a bunch of fans and like heaters at the bottom of it. it's gonna blow like a lot of hot air it should take a little bit longer but if i do it right it should possibly put me in the positive so i don't have to worry about getting a grain dryer oh uh, yeah so i think that's an awesome setup i think uh kind of jealous Costs 100 grand 100 grand in upgrades ain't nothing it, it'll hopefully pay itself off next year yeah, I, I bet it will. Um, I'm going to follow you back to your farm so you can show me which equipment I can borrow. All right, sounds good. All right, so this right here, you can take either one. I don't care. Okay. They both hook up to the anhydrous bars. The tractor you can borrow, both of them are currently out in the fields. Okay. <laughs> Believe it or not, they're both workhorses. Oh, it's in here. Here they are. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. This is the tank. Oh, yeah, you got it hooked up. I can back it out with that. Okay. So, yeah, I might probably tomorrow morning get started on that. The one I would recommend using, like, how big, how bad is your fields? Like, are they muddy? They're a little bit, and there's a lot of, of little hills as well. Use the tract version. The uh, tract diagram I have. 
have that's currently up in the north fields so but i'm supposed to be bringing them back down here tonight because we're done with all cultivation up north now we do bring now time to get the south done oh okay all right so just basically take that over there and take one of those and i'll have the tracked one over here for you to take later i'm gonna hopefully try to finish that up and get some lime put down because snow is a coming and it's a coming fast yeah i'm excited to see how you set up that dryer too because i might end up purchasing some of the similar stuff so i could have it i don't know if i set it up the right way you want to buy it off <laughs> We'll see how much money I make off the cereal. Yeah, hopefully you make enough. All right, man. I'll see you later. Let me go find Yosho to yell at. All right, Yosho. I'm pulling in now with the uh, grain cart. All right, man. We need to go. I need you to jump in the tractor with me because I got to go take you up north because we have two tractors up north that we have to go get. All right. Can you drop that pin back there for me? Oh, yeah. Hang on. Yeah, let me get back here. All right. There you go. Got it. There we go. You're taking these back to the farm? Uh, well, we got to get cultivation started. I think we need to take that ripper in because we don't really use it ever. I mean, when we do use it, it's being a pain. I think we need to trade it in for a bigger cultivator. So meet back at the store and let you take this thing up there? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I say I'll get you started in the big field. And then after I let you get started in the big field, I'll go ahead and get rocking and rolling. Uh, take your tractor, throw that up there to the shop. Cause also, I want to see about trading that thing in. Yeah, I think I like the uh, one you're in better than this one. I'm not saying I want to trade it for something like I got right here, but I want to trade it. Something that has a little bit more horsepower and a little bit newer. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set this down there, and I'm going to go get it replaced. I'm going to go actually replace tractor as well. All right, sounds good. I'll get this field cultivated. All right, sounds good, bud. All right, so turn that off there. Let's go in here and visit my favorite little buddy. All right, restocking these filters. And... Good morning. Oh, hey, how's it going there, my favorite customer? Oh. Come to spend more money, came to give you equipment for me to get equipment, and you know how it is. That's why you're my favorite. I know it is. Why don't you come outside and look what we got today? All right. Trading both these in. Whoa. She's an old one. Yeah, she might be a little old. This ain't old. Both of us know this one ain't old right here. This right here, we've used her for what we need her for. She is two years old, and she only has, I think we put 200 acres on her. Okay, so just barely broken in. Exactly. So, yeah, we shouldn't need nothing but a little washing on this thing. We should be good. All right. Now, this thing, though, uh, we probably need to get our service mechanic to check it out, make sure it's all right, and then I can give you a decent deal for it. I'm about to say, I send her to the case I use place pretty regularly. She should be good. Okay, then. I heard you got some new, bigger equipment in stock. Yes, we do. Come on over here. Let me show you what we got. I thought you said you were a John Deere dealership. Why Why? Why you got all these different colors? Well, that's because people like you have been bringing us other stuff and trade for the John Deere. Yeah, well, I think I'm going to end up with one of these. Yeah, we, we are. We do sell used equipment. That's a T9 over here. This new Holland's actually really nice and pretty. It's got a... It's a T9530. Doesn't have a whole lot of hours on it. How much she cost? Uh, I'd say that this mural probably runs about uh, 435. 435? Uh-huh. That's actually not a bad price. No, it's not too bad. Actually, I got one back here. It was one that just recently came in. We haven't had a chance to fully process it yet, but I might be able to rush it. But we got us a versatile back here, if you check it out. Uh, she just recently came in yesterday. Uh, I could probably let her go for 410. The only problem is she don't have tracks. Kind of wanted to replace my tracks with tracks. Okay, then. Let's uh, head back over here. And I think we have... No, I think that's going to be it. Well, how much is the case? Uh, if I remember correctly... I I think this one is running 470. 470, oof. Yeah. Yeah, I got a little bit better deal over here on the uh, New Holland. Okay, what kind of, uh, how many horsepower does she have? All right, so the 530 has 517 horses. All right, so I'll keep that in mind. Let's go to cultivation uh, tillage then. All right, so we got a couple of models back here. We have the Storm, which is our off-brand, uh, versus the John Deere. The John Deere is running 100K, and the Storm is running running 78. How much horsepower you need for the John Deere? Because, yeah, this one has shanks and it would tear the ground up a lot better. All right. According to the information I got on it, it says 320. Should be able to pull it, no problem. What kind of deal could you do with this John Deere 2410 and the uh, New Holland? Can we get both of them wrapped up for 490,000? Okay, 490. Yeah, we can do that. I can make that work. All right. So let's go find out how much the uh, Tiger and that other tillage is worth. All right. You want me to drive it on in? Yeah, go ahead and leave the uh, tillage here, and go ahead and drive the tractor in for me. All right, that's good. 
Go ahead and kill the engine on it for me. Let's see here. Let me look it over real quick. Okay. All right. So we're looking good there. Um, I'd say with the mileage that you have on it and with it being a little bit on the older side, uh, we can give you 190 for it. Is that including that out there as well? Yes, that's including both of them. I can give you both of them for 190. All right. That's, that's fine to me. So let's go ahead and get in there. Let's get the paperwork written up so I can leave with my new stuff. So 300000 here you go. And that leaves me with that much money. All righty. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go get the tractors or something like that. All right. Just start it up. They got to take off a couple of tags here and there just to make sure everything is in my registered name. We officially have some big equipment. Hey, Yosho, you out in the field? Yeah, I'm out here trying to finish one of these uh, outcroppings here. Oh, I'm back. Okay. I went and got the new stuff. How much did you spend? You don't want to know. What did you get? Uh, I got a new holland t9 s30 i didn't take you for a new holland guy i get a new holland if i wanted it and i figured why not go with new holland it was cheaper and it had tracks is that all you got or did he talk you into something else well no i also went for cultivator as well how much did you spend all i can say is i'm about to drop near you here in a second and you'll see why i don't want to say all right as long as you're still cutting my check that's all that matters ain't that the truth what is that what is what that thing looks huge what we traded in wasn't the sauce thing either just saying but no for cultivator wise we went big uh yeah so if you calculate everything in total they gave us a hundred and ninety thousand dollars for the tractor we traded in and the cultivator and we only had to get a loan for three hundred thousand like i said as long as you cut my check i don't care <laughs> Boss. What now? Hey, did you see outside? It's white. Come, come, Have come you here. ever come seen here. snow come before? Come on. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, but it's so cool. Come on. Just don't eat the yellow snow. There, there's some over here. You know, I, I, I would not, I would not advise that. We made the yellow snow on my property. Don't ask. Don't ask. Don't, don't, don't ask. Just hey, look, look, it's snow. Oh, it's cold. Never mind. I'm going back inside. What? Did you lock the door? Oh, oh there we go. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. You stay at uh, that. Oh. Bad at you. No, no, I'm going out the back door. I'm getting out of here. Oh, never mercy. While you're out there, won't you come around back to our trust? We need to get everything going. We got a big day today. All right. We're supposed to be going and helping out the local town remove some snow later. But what about you? Looks like we got some snow of our own. Oh, yeah, it is it is cold. All right, let's take yours first. All right. I mean, they're only like right down here, down here, down the road, but I kind of want to see it. Yours is the red one. I even got you a color matching plow. Well, thank you. Uh, uh, Come on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm, I'm there, there. Let me scoot the seat back a little bit. I'm sitting too close to the steering wheel. All right. Cool. All righty. So we need to clear everything out here. At least get our driveway back. Hey, we don't play basketball anymore, do we? Not this time of year. Okay, good. Uh, what'd you just do? Uh, I think I think it's okay, but, you know, I, I kind of bumped into it. I know. Kind of. Well, then my truck right here. We got to get at least these right here put up for the year. Grain carts, too. Good Lord. And my trucks. I don't think we're going to put the trailers up this year. We want the uh, new hauling at. Well, we got to play our favorite game. Reorganize the equipment. I don't want. Oh, yeah. It's our favorite game. Come on now. We need to attach the new hauling, actually, to the other grain cart because we need to put the semi trucks inside of here. Hey, Osha. What? I got you your job. I already have a job. It's working for you. I'm talking about your job for once we get both of these tractors put inside the Quonset. I have you a a nice good international farm mall with your name on it no cab no yes there ain't, you don't get to say no i am riding in my red truck with a heater got a snowblower stuff bud yeah your truck can't connect to a snowblower we got another tractor that has a cab not one that's small enough for the snowblower just like go blow the pin out on it every 10 seconds that sounds like a you problem are these gonna stay connected to this trailer or do, do you want me to pull them back out Le leave the tractors in in the quantities and then once you get done putting that in there it wouldn't be the worst idea to go ahead and get started on putting the semi trucks up where do they go uh they go inside the main heater shop uh oh you know Coming over here and getting the snow in front of this door would really help me out a lot. I'll come snatch it for you. Morning, bud. Morning. How you doing? Uh, it'd be better if it was warmer. Oh, I love the call. You gotta learn how to play. <laughs> that's hard to say when you got a truck that's not yours stuck, so. How'd you manage oh, that? You walked over here? Um, let's just say I might have been going a little too fast in Alex's truck, and you you, you gotta go slow on these turns. Right here, I'll take over the shoveling while you go help him. No, hey, y'all are good. I mean, it's just Alex's truck. Do what y'all gotta do. Oh, dang, that thing works really well. Yeah, especially when you gotta move a lot of snow really quickly. Yeah, golly, you need like a lot of those. All right, let's get this knocked out. And bro, I'm gonna go with you here in a second. I guess I'll follow you. I don't have really anything to pull you out with, but we can find something. Actually, Yosho, do we still have those uh, tow ropes? Uh, I think we do. Didn't you hang them up on the wall in the shed? I thought I did. I don't remember. I mean, worst case scenario, I can just leave it there. Well, we do got to go do that government job. If somebody decided they wanted to hit the post office, we do gotta go do that government job. I guess we can get it out when we do that job. Yeah, 
citizens, fine by me. Still can't believe the city boys got off easy by that and got us dragged into it somehow. What happened? I'm totally lost on that one. Well, we got to go plow the city. You know that new city that just came in? Yeah. We have to go plow their roads for them because those city boys decided they wanted to hit the post office a while back. Oh, that must have happened while I was gone. Yeah, first day that we all uh, had a meet up at the town hall. Hey, bro, since you're over here, can you pull that one semi truck out of the way? Which one? The uh, blue one. Where am I going with it? Move it out of the way so I can remove the snow. Yeah, okay. Uh, hold on, Yosha, how did I end up on this? <laughs> You've been on it this entire time. Wait a minute. Was you not supposed to be on that? No, this was supposed to be Yosho's job. It seems like the easier job. Might be the easiest job. It's the colder job. You're I doing mean, such a fine job there, boss. Uh, so just yeah, keep you, at it. you might as well keep going now. All right, get out of the truck, bro. Oh, no. We got more snow coming, dude, don't we? We got more snow coming, but guess what? We're inside its highest price. Right now? Yeah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, and I don't have Alex here to sell my corn. Okay, so here, here's what we gotta do. We gotta get the auger back out that I put up. Hold on, we may not need to sell right now. If I dry the corn, I could sell it in June. I don't know, your show, do you think we should sell corn? I mean, what? how's our price looking? How much difference is it? Well, there's a substantial difference in price if we don't dry it. I've already got our dryer figured out, though. All right, I don't know about you, but I think I about have all the snow cleared up and we're we'll able to get our job done a little bit. Y'all about ready to head down? to go to the county go pick up those county trucks and plows and stuff like that yeah might as well get this done and over with all right where y'all boys at i'm plowing the road heading to the city yep i'm just sitting with yosho these plows work good i mean with how good these plows are working we really don't even need to go get the cities I'm telling you man if these are good imagine the cities though if we're doing this with the city trucks why don't we just leave it for the city we gotta make it there first bud like you remember we still have to make it there we easily drive on top of it we we'll see what happened to bry bry got stuck this morning and and I forgot to order a new snow change for me and Yosho. So this is how we have to get there. And it's got snow in the forecast again. Yep, more on its way. This is only a temporary fix. But we need to get the equipment before it gets too bad. All right, that's that road. Lease open back up. All right. So yeah, they had some of the city guys already coming out this morning. Here got this snow. Oh, no, I can't lie, Yosho. I think our trucks look pretty cool with these snow plows on the front. I think so, too. All right, let me go ahead and get this door unlocked. This, yep, here it is. Go. Oh, cow. Uh, this is this is a little bit of the equipment that our uh, county has. Where are you going, Yosho? I'm sitting here waiting for it to warm up. Ah, there we go. Are we using the Volvos or are we going to use the trucks? We'll use both. Okay. First of all, what are we clearing? The new city area. Oh, so we need so we're doing the houses as well then? We're not doing the houses, but we're doing the roads. I guess I can kind of send, we can send Yosho and Blake start clearing the city. Me and you can take the Volvos and start clearing a little bit of back roads. Sounds good to me. All right, I'm full, sir. I'm going to leave it right here with the keys in it, bud. All right. So, bro, do we want to just go down here and do this, get some that road over there for Happy and Chris done as well, and get, like, the road going to your place done as well? Yeah, we probably should, and then head to the new town. Well, if we're going to new town, let's go get the uh, other trucks for that. The ones that uh, Blake has? Yeah, one like that, yeah. Okay. It makes more sense to do it that way, because these are meant for dirt roads, because we would scrape the ground up. I don't know. I was making sure we're on the same page. Uh-oh, somebody left their equipment out. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to put something in the ground. Hopefully he got it. I think I was talking to another day. I think he said he got in the ground in time. Is that happy or is that Chris's? That's on Chris's property. I take guess it's Chris's. Now, when did Chris get that tractor? I don't know. Why are you backing up? Because we there's no exit other than this. So back up there to me? I was on my side of the lanes. We're like in the middle of the road. I was in the lane that I just made. Good Lord. Hey, bruh. Yeah. This is going to be the last road me and you going to do right here. We're going to take these back and go get those other trucks. All right. I don't know about all of y'all, but just something about this looks so good to me and looks so right to be doing a farm system just pushing some snow with a wheel grader and it works so well this is stuff that you can legitimately only do in farm sim is you can be harvesting fields one second and then pushing snow the next all right boys i think once i get the walmart kind of cleared up i think we've done our job sounds like a plan kind of cleaning up a few roads over here on the back side of town yeah but i'm still over here getting some on the uh, far up part of the back roads i think we've done a pretty good job i mean we've about done the whole city yeah hey blake do me a favor yeah never i mean a never Hit another post office. Well, I, I didn't hit one. Yes, you did. You remember that Pontiac you had? I came close. I never hit it. You remember the reason you had to replace the Pontiac? That, that's kind of the reason why we're out here working and doing this right now is all because of you. Yeah, it's still fun at least. I would rather be sitting at home beating Yosho at chest. Oh, what are you, yeah. Uh, that are you sure you would be beating I was gonna him? Say, I'm pretty sure Yosho <laughs> says the record is like 12 and 0 against you right now. He's lying a lot. <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> I mean, Yosho, can you... 
confirm that or what? Yeah, yeah. I think I think uh, I think it's more along the lines of fifteen and zero. You want to lie to these people? No, he lying at all. I'm telling the truth. First thing you're gonna say, you beat me in basketball. Then you're gonna say you're, you're okay. We need to take you to church. <sighs> I go every Sunday. All right, boys. We have everything that we're obligated to do. The boys want to meet up at your place. Uh, I was about to say yeah. I mean, I know we're allowed to use these trucks to kind of clear out the snow from our own places. Do y'all want to kind of use the trucks real fast to clear out our own places, and then we'll pick it on because I know Happy hasn't cleared his yet. Yeah, that works for me. All right, the yard looks all clean now. Clean enough where we can get trucks in and out. Looks like corn is about ready to start selling here in a little bit. All right, I'm going to take my truck back because I think we finished our obligations. Oh, wait, hold up. What? I got something we have to still do. What? Nah, we're done. Well, we got to pull Alex's truck out of the snow. Hey, what's up, guys? What we got going on here? Who's guys? It's only me. Guess I got to fix Bri's mess. Out there it goes. Tighten down. Good right there. All right, Yosho, get inside the truck and try to back her up. All right. There we go. There we go. There All right. we go. Uh, yeah. Perfect. All right. Bye-bye, Alex's truck. Look, I got my pet on the leash. Excuse me? And ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank y'all so very much for the love and support y'all have given year one. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we do have one more year to go. Keep coming back to the channel every week to see what happens in this series. Thank y'all so very much. But with no further ado, for me, the entire team here, thank y'all. See you next time. Peace. Peace.